We live too. Chill and low came with last week when we was talking about KD and George Gervin. Now, the great George Gervin, right? We spoke last week, and you guys. And shout out to Lo. Hey, Lo, I got a lot of love for y'all. I respect what you, what you do too, and what chill all y'all do. But it's time for y'all to get this ass with. Let's get it. Um, you guys, oh, yeah. y'all, y'all done got ticket fired up now. You, lied to you, the public. you guys lied to the general public last week, and you told everybody, Chill Town. You specifically and Lo was a man in the back, but you told everybody that George Gervin never played a team as good as KD played in the playoffs. And that was a lot. No, I didn't say that. I'm gonna say, we didn't, we said that? But, but, but keep going, keep going, yeah, Ticket, I'm sorry. I got you on tape. That's okay, keep going. Keep going. going. Say you didn't say that, because I'm gonna take this tape, and I'm gonna rewind this tape, and I'm gonna put it beside the tape where you said okay. that. Keep going. So, because so, now we got, I'm getting ready to cook, because the listening. conversation was, did KD play better competition right. than George Gervin? Because I said he didn't, and y'all Correct. said he did. Now. Mm-hmm. George Gervin in the playoffs his first year in the NBA. In the NBA, not ABA, because in the ABA he was still playing Hall of Famers. But in the NBA, did the Boston Celtics not have four Hall of Famers on the team at the same time? His Who first season. Three of them in their prime. His three first season. Huh? So that was so that was in the 79-80 season. The first season he they merged and came to the NBA. He played that Boston Celtics team. They had four Hall of Famers on the team. Three of them was in their prime. One of them was going out of his prime, and they had two more All Stars on the same team. If I'm not mistaken, in the playoffs, his first year in the NBA. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think George Gervin came to the league until he he got in the league in the late. Look it up. Low guy right on the computer. Look it up. I'm pretty sure he came came, came, came in at 77. So he came in at 77, right? Who was that? Hold on. Who was it? Low. Tell him who was on that that Celtics team that he played in the playoffs. That first year. That Boston yeah. Celtics team was gone. Who's on that Celtics team? Joe, JoJo White. Over. Hall of Famer. Over. They, they All annoying wasn't in his prime. Call, hey, call out the stats. He led the Jojo team in scoring. He led the team in scoring that year. He Keep going. He Dave, was in his prime. Dave, Dave Count. He wasn't in his prime, but he was. I wouldn't say he was over. Hold on, hold on. Dave, How old was he? How old was he? He was 30. Okay, right. he was in his prime. How much he averaged? He led the team in scoring with 19.1. Okay. 19.6. Mm-hmm. Right. And they had about six players that averaged. Right in that teens, right there. Let's keep mm-hmm. going. He was a Hall of Famer. Name the second Hall of Famer on that team. Dave Cowens. Mm-hmm. Hall of Famer. How much Dave Cowens averaged? How old was mm-hmm. Dave Cowens? He was 28. Mm-hmm. In his prime. How much he averaged that year? Uh, What? 16 and 13? Let's keep going. Third they won the NBA championship the year before that, Third too. Hall of Famer. Third Don't leave Hall that part out. Dave John, you are you talking about a 36 year old John Havlicek? Call me, call me John Havlicek. Call me John Havlicek. I said they had four Hall of Famers. Three was in their prime. One was out of their prime. Havlicek was out of his prime. But how much he averaged that year? 17. Okay, l- let's keep going. And the fourth Hall of Famer was who? Keep going. I don't know who. Uh, oh, Charlie. Well, like, and, and, Charlie, and, and, Charlie Scott. No name. Na- hold on. Name and name. Hold on. Okay. Charlie, 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 Scott, Charlie, hold on. Charlie Scott. Charlie Scott came out of the University of North Carolina, right? Correct, he did. Okay, time out, time out, time out. Was he a Hall of Famer or not? Yes, he was. Okay, time out. Four Hall of Famers. Mm-hmm. How old was Charlie Scott? He was 28. Okay, in his prime, how much uh-huh. he averaged? 18. Plus, they had two more Hall of, they had two more All-Stars on that same team. Gervin played who? them in the playoffs his first year. Now, second who, year. Wait, who, who was all of, who's, who's the All-Stars on the team? No, look down the list. I'm looking. All you got to do is keep looking. Look at the next two scores. They weren't All-Stars that year? Look, Curtis Rowe? Scores. No, I'm saying they had two more All-Star guys who made the All-Star team on that team. On that team. Nobody, I'm looking. Curtis Rowe didn't make the All Star team that no, year. No, I'm talking about no. Excuse me. Let, let's take it a step further than that. And, and Lo, can we take it a step further than that? That that 77 team that he's talking about. Tell the tell the people at home ticket what happened the next year with that team. Tell me, what do you mean what happened the next year? They played him again. Tell tell okay, tell tell everybody tell everybody no, 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 what happened the next year with that team. Hold on, hold on, hold on. that's not the point. The point was mm-hmm. this man played. George Gervin came in the league. Now, see, this is what I'm going to do to you. Because I'm, I'm finna eat to you. You and Fluent down there, living the Vida Loca. Fluent was down here eight minutes two. I'm glad you came in here because you walked right into the fire pit, baby. <laughs> I'm on y'all ass tonight. So, now you two dudes said 
that KD did not, that George Gervin did not play stronger competition than KD. Right. Now, I'm finna show you, because Lowe can go from the first year he came in the NBA all the way through. Right. Them Houston Rockets team he played, three Hall of Famers. Okay. The, who, are the, the, who are the Hall of Famers? Pull it up right now. We don't need to. Uh-uh. We, we, we don't need to pull it up. Let's 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 let's, let's, let's get to the bottom of this ticket. Let's get to the bottom of this ticket right now. What did I walk, did I walk into? What did I walk into right now? Okay, okay. Calvin Murphy, who, who, Calvin Murphy, who was also on the other side of his prime, no doubt about that. Sure. However, with all of that being said, no, 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 with, no, no, with, no, no, I don't even know. I don't even know. Hold on, hold on. I don't even know what I walked into, but all I'll say is this. No, 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 Hold on, hold on, take it, hold on, take it, take it, take it. Hold on. We've all had a talk. I don't even know what the conversation is, but I'll say this. If you're comparing George Gervin's competition to KD's competition, and I hate when people make me defend KD, but here we go. We said for years, Braun played in a weak East because all the talent was in the West. We cannot then flip around and say the West was weak. So no, KD no, no. had no, all. You're not, you're, not, you're, not saying, you're not saying the West. I said that KD played weaker competition in the playoffs than then George Gervin. George Gervin. Yes. And look, watch this. George Gervin played the Showtime Lakers twice. Mm-hmm. That's facts. Right. He played the Boston Celtics super team with four Hall of Famers twice. That's facts. Super team is a stretch, that? but okay. No, hold on. Tell me, the Showtime Lakers won a super team? He just That's, said, said the Celtics. Celtics he said Celtics the Celtics are. Hold on. Stretch. The Celtics have four Hall of Famers, three that in doesn't, that doesn't, on the same team. That's that not a super team? No, no. Y'all niggas going to hell. Y'all going to hell with all them lives. You're going straight to hell with all them damn lives. Because one, 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 one of the players need to be like at a, no, an no, MVP caliber. No, 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 no. Can you clip on y'all ass tonight? Lowe, can you tell Tony Parker that Tony Parker is not going to be the MVP of the finals? Tony Parker is not going to be the MVP of the finals. Tony Parker is not going to be the MVP of the finals. Tony Parker is not going to be the I don't need to look it up. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I, I don't. I don't need to look it up. Can, year, can you, that Boston team do? The bro? next, the, the following year. Hold, they, hold they, on, Lowe, they, Before the, you do that, I'm about to post a poll and ask, are they going to hell? Go ahead, Lowe. The, <laughs> the, 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 the following year, that same Celtics team didn't even make the playoffs. Not only did they not make the playoffs, Lowe. Whoa, 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 whoa! You brought this. Hold on, Lowe. I'm sorry. Who did? Who did he? Who did George Gervin play the second year he was in the NBA in the playoffs? The Bullets. And, oh, three three Hall of Famers, right or wrong? Was that Bullets team better than the three Lakers Hall team that won the NBA right championship? Yes or no? That was the Bullets team. Didn't they go win it? Didn't they go to the finals? Was that was that Bullets team better than the Lakers that won the NBA? They did. Did they go to the finals? Yes, did they, they did. Yes, they did. Okay, then eat. Yes, they did. Okay. So with that, so with that being said, was that? Hold on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Hold on. First year, Super Team Boston Celtics, four Hall of Famers, three in their prime. Four Hall of Famers. Second year, second year, two years in a row, he played the Bullets. Them dudes was in the finals and won the chip. Period. They had hold on. Name who they had on that team. Uh, low. They had West Un- the great West Unsell. God mm-hmm. bless the dead. Yep. Who else they had low? On that yeah, Washington, yeah. Elvin Hayes was on that. Elvin, Elvin Hayes. Elvin Hayes. But you're but you're but you're naming players in their thirties though. Take no, it. I'm not telling you. It won the championship. So so low. No no you no you let's be let's be clear. Elvin Hayes, thirty-three. Wes Unsell, thirty-two. Anybody who knows Wes Unsell, they won the chip. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying. Uh, uh, wait. Let's let's let me pause for a second. Nobody did not say that he didn't play good competition. No, it's it's all better. it's 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 all in it's all in it's all in comparison I'm to getting, Kevin Durant. I'm so you so 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 you so you talking about him winning a championship? Name me one that's team that's team great. Name me one team besides. Name me one team besides one team. Besides, when KD was with the Warriors, when he played the Heat, they had three Hall of Famers on that team. Three Hall of Famers on that team? Oh, uh, let's see. One team he played the in the Spurs? playoffs all his years in his career. Spurs? How about the Spurs? Come on. Okay, come on. That's the only one you can name me. I can about, give you five well, teams. Okay, but it's not. Teams. It's not. But here's the here's the difference, though. Ticket. It's not in the same context. Because first what of all, I'm, I'm about to you're, explain you're, it to you're, you. You're, you're well, naming a 32 year old West Unsold right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. They won the championship. What the hell nobody, is wrong nobody, with Nobody's not arguing if they won. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. No, what you're the leaving. Best team in the NBA he played. You're, com- you're completely. And so, if I'm not mistaken, did 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 Kevin Durant not knock out the defending NBA champion Dallas Mavericks? 
the next season? That did they not bounce better, them? On, that team was better than the Bucks. No, see, that, you know what this is called? This is called moving the goalpost. No, we one one the minute goal they was the we best team, now the they're not better I than them. Which one is it? Which one is it? One minute, one one minute, it's this the best team in the NBA, and the next minute, it's called moving the next now, they're not better than them. There is not one team outside the net. Hold on, Tiki, let him go. Let him go, Tiki, hold on. The Showtime Lakers, they played them two years with Magic and Kareem. That was better than any team Katie KD faced. That's a fact. That's a fact. I don't you know can't take that. The, that's a fact. I don't know if they was better than that 14 San Antonio team. What? That, the 82 Lakers. Wow. The, 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 the 80, wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that the 1982 Lakers, it's a wash that they were Whoa. better than the San Antonio? Are you serious? The Showtime Lakers were better. Guys, he, he, correct me if I'm wrong because I know, I know my memory's not – not the best. Mine so, is. Cor- correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I know what we're so, talking about. KD doesn't make the playoffs, I think, the first couple of years, right? And mm-hmm. then yes. and then doesn't he get knocked out by the Lakers who won since you're talking he about winning let me, let me, the Lakers that won the chip, the Mavericks that won the chip. Yes. Hold on. No, no, no. And no, then no. they go to the finals. Is that no, not no, correct? Come on. Come on. The mm-hmm. Bullets won the chip. That's, the chip. that's correct, right? Right. The, the Bullets won the NBA championship. And so did the Dallas Mavericks, who they bounced in the playoffs. Right. Okay, the ba- the Dallas okay, Mavericks. Who was better? Who was so, better? Was the Bullets and the Showtime Lakers better than the Dallas Mavericks? You know they was. And if you said so, it wasn't you, whoa, 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 Hang on for a second. Hang, hang on for one second. The best team that KD played, and I'm sorry, the best team that George Gervin, the, 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 be- the, the best team that, that George Gervin went up against was the Showtime Lakers. If if, if I may, okay, if I may, on. if I may, hold on. So in the five years that he's, the, his first five, so his first two years, he's not in the playoffs. In his right. next five years, he loses to the NBA champion, NBA champion, makes it to the final, okay, the Grizzlies, and then the NBA champion. So so one year he made it, three years he lost to the NBA champion. And in, and in, the, and the, and in the Grizzlies series, Russell Westbrook was in there. Not only was not only was Russell, Russell Westbrook not there, Mars, but that Memphis team went to the Western Conference championship. Yeah, that was a good Memphis team. That was a good. Let's make sure that we're clear on that. They had three guys on that Memphis team. The only one that was on the All League defensive team. Three of them. Three of them. Three of them. Three of three of those dudes. Three of those dudes. I just, again, I came in at the end of this conversation, okay, but come on, come on, come on. I don't because think this is a good comparison. Last, year, last week, you had the pom poms going like this when Chill and Low was over there talking that cap. I had pom poms. Like I don't have no pom poms, brother. I don't have no pom poms, brother. The pom poms on the sideline. Now I'm finna cook all three of you today, because like I said, this man played the Bullets, three Hall of Famers, won the chip. He mm-hmm. played the Lakers twice. He played the Bullets twice. Three Hall of Famers won the chip. He played the Lakers super team twice. Three Hall of Famers mm-hmm. won the chip. Correct. Come on. He also played the Houston Rockets. Three Hall of Famers. He played them what? Twice, right? He also played. Who, who's, who's the third okay. Hall of so, Famer? Oh, hold on. Is your argument that. Well, wait, wait, wait. Can, he, can, he, can he just, can he just say who the third argument that George can he just, Spurs team uh, lost to better teams? Because that's the, that's his logic. That's the logic. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 that's no, no, the logic. No, no. That's the logic. Said, that's the logic. George Gervin. George Gervin played against better George teams. That, that, that's that's the logic, and that's not and that's not true. That's not true. That's fact. That no, it's fact. not. Can no, you, it's not. Can you can you name can you name can you name the third Hall of Famer? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm when, when I'm assuming Aaron it's Rudy Tomjanovich. Like 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 Wait, don't Mars, don't say it. When I when I think about when I think about that time when George Gervin was playing in the playoffs, the best team that he went up against. Was the '82 Lakers? Okay, that's the best. That's the best team that he went up against. That's the the best. Was the the Bullets better than the Mavs? Was the Bullets better than the Dallas Mavs? I'm not. I don't. I don't know if I can say. Was the Bullets that won the chip better than the Dallas Mavs? They had better talent. I don't know if they were a better team. What? I don't. You can. You can. You can. You can say that they want just because you won the NBA championship. You can have better talent. It's not the same thing between having a better team and having better talent. It's not the same thing. And won the chip. Can I? Can I? Played those guys. Listen, he wasn't. It's not like he was getting ran off the court and swept. He was going Glock for Glock with these dudes in these series. And who else did George Gervin have? He was going Glock for Glock. The Lakers swept them in '82. Swept them out the Western Conference Finals. That's not true. Mopped them out the playoffs. He went against the Celtics. He went against the Bullets twice. So he went against the Celtics super team. He went against the Bullets twice. Why you can't they say, won a championship. Why, why are we, can I, why are we arguing he about George Gervin and KD? They're both they're both going to be remembered in history as two great scorers. No, no, no. I don't want to hear that remembered in history. Run. You guys tried to you I got some tax for y'all ass today. Let's you guys it. tried to come in here last week. 
You try to disrespect on this. You try to tell me. You try to act like I ain't know what I was talking about when I. I didn't say that. Nope, you know, I didn't say that. I think if you go back and watch the episode, can I? Can I? Can I please? Can I please ask my question? I told every last one of you. They punch a dude in their face out here. Can I? Can I? Can I please? Can I? Can I please ask a question? Hold on, ticket. We'll get into that ticket. Can I? 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 Can I please ask my question? Can I ask my question? Can I ask my question? I had to mute ticket. Go ahead. Low. No, I ask just, your question, and then we go get into our topic. It's too, it's too, it's spicy too, today. Hey, it's, y'all walked in this no, today, wait. boy. Okay, it's two, ahead, it's two, it's two things. A, who was the third Hall of Famer on the Houston Rockets? Who was it? It was Ralph Sampson. No, and, no, no, no. I'm no, sorry, no. I'm sorry, wait, ticket. Wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ticket. Um, who was the third? Who's the third Hall of Famer on that team? Please let us know. Because this is eighty-two. No, eighty. Eighty-one, right? Eighty-one. So, Ticket, who was the third Hall of Famer on that team? Mm-hmm. Is he muted? No. No. That's all. Basically, what we're doing right now is we're battle rapping, and I'm going back to check my rhymes. That's what I'm doing. Because because that's, hey, that's what I'm doing right now. I have a bad memory. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with checking your facts. I wanna, it's better I to wanna, get it right. It's better to go to instant replay and get it right. But I, I think I the point the point is they weren't playing at all. We don't we don't all have your yeah, memory. That, and that's, that's the, the vegan I want, memory. I want, that's the vegan memory, chill. I want, I want to make sure it's it's what that that's the point that it is proven. And it's interesting. Because, to, yeah, I'm sorry, Law. Because we going. do we do this thing where people just come up and quite frankly, it's a it's a casual way to assess talent. Yes. Just because it is. a player made a hall of who's a hall of famer by the Yo, end of his yeah, career. Hey, hold on, my yep. bad, y'all. I couldn't hear y'all knocked out my um my what you call it by actually. Who who's a third Hall of Famer in in on that Houston Rockets team? On that first scene that came, hold on, I told y'all already. Who? They had Rick Berry, they had uh Moses Malone. I mean, I most yeah, Moses Malone, and they had Calvin Murphy. Duh. Now Rick, 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 Rick Berry in 1981. No, 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 Rick Barry in 81. 81. 81. No, no, Ron, Ron, he, Ron, he has to answer this question. All right, he has to right, answer the question. Ticket. Hey, ticket, you are being in put 80. Up. In 81, he right won't brought it up. He in 81, who was the third? Who was the third Hall of Famer? We need answers. No, tickets. I just there, told him, come on. The Houston Rockets, the first year ticket, they there, what there was no, three. they didn't have three Hall of Famers. No, they didn't. Rick Barry was a Hall of Rick Barry in the oh Hall of Famer. Oh, my God. That was Let's, uh, but just, this, 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 this is this is this is my point. To, to I retired in eighty. That was, was his. Let me let me. Let me yes, yes, no. yes 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 yes. Okay, come on come on. Okay. Was Calvin Murphy a Hall of Famer? Yes. Was is that what we going on? Is that what we going off of? Yes. Is that is that what we going off? All right. So I'm sorry. I'm not going to interrupt you. So so let me pull up the stats on my screen. Hold on. I'll pull up the stats right now. Oh my goodness. I got it right here. I got it right here. The question was about 1981. Let me pull up. No, 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 no
and doing that because of the career that they had, not where they're at in their career. No, I'm not. He's I just, told you wrong. he averaged 12 Again, that year. again, yes, again, wrong. again. He's talking about Rick Barry, who was literally at the end of his career. He retired the next year. That's the Rick Barry that he's referring to. He's talking about Rudy Tomanovich, who was a Hall of Famer because of a coach. I didn't say he was not a Hall of Famer. I you gave you, did. you just he named him. him. You just named him. Now, not, only, not, only, not, only, not only not only did you just name him, I saw that bullshit you uploaded, and you did it then as well. What are you mind about you, mind, mind you, FYI, you mind you, mind, mind you, F, mind you, 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 I didn't say Rudy T. When you but, said Hall but, of Famers, I but didn't say I saw, Rudy I saw it on your original video ticket. I, I did not say Rudy T. In, in my original video, oh, I, 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 I read a clip. I read a clip. He was a Hall of Famer as a coach. <laughs> no, no, you saying. you start this, he and this is not, and this is another another thing. Just because somebody averaged a certain amount of points does not also mean they played a Hall of Fame level. You telling me about Wes Unsell at the end of his career? Okay. You okay, you bring up John hold on, hold on. Havlicek how at the rebounds, end of his how career. Many went, hold on. If they was the end of their career, they won a championship. How many I'm nobody. Went, nobody. nobody no. And furthermore, and finally, nobody not say that George Gervin played terrible comp. We're nobody comparing him to Kevin Durant. Can we're compar we're, we're, no, we're comparing him to Kevin Durant's cop. Who no, lost to who, lo who lost me, who bro. lost to who lost to Kobe Bryant and Pau Gasol who went on to win a championship back to back low back to don't say just don't say championship yeah, yeah, back to back, back then then back lost to, to the champion. Dallas Mavericks who NBA had champion. Dirk who had, if you count the Hall of Famers who had Dirk and, and Jason Kidd but no oh, one was there and then and then and then and then they they also they all they also they they all they also won a championship won the championship but 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 you know, ticket out. You know, ticket ticket. You know what? I would never bring up J Kid, but you you're delusional enough to bring up a thirty six year old. Was worse than Rick you're, you're you're bringing up a thirty six year old John Havlicek. Rick Barry was so I I I have I have I have no other choice but to do that. In twenty twelve, in twenty in twenty in twenty twelve, Kevin Durant matched up against the Dallas Mavericks, who just won, swept them. One matched up against the Lakers, who had, if I'm not mistaken, either two or three All NBA caliber players beat mm -hmm. them, and Ooh. then the San Antonio Spurs Ooh, beat NBA? them. Who's this the is, three? I did have two: Powell and Kobe. Oh, uh, Bynum. Okay. You and then, hurt and hold on, you talking about the year Bynum got hurt? on that crew too, by the way. Bynum, Bynum, year, hold on, he talking about the year Bynum got hurt? Yeah. This is this is this is twenty twelve. Bynum, Bynum played more games than Kobe that year. Bynum, Bynum played more games. Bynum played more games than Kobe in twenty twelve. He that was that was that was that was the one year he made all in the eighteen. And then and then and then they went to Miami and they lost to the Heat. Then the next year, okay. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question: Was either one of those two teams? Either, hold on, let's start with the Lakers. Mm -hmm. The two Lakers teams with Kobe and Powell. This is after they run was over when he beat them, right? This is when you're talking about 2012. When Kobe outside, I already know what you're about to ask, Ticket. Outside that Los bro, Angeles Lakers bro, team in 82, bro, bro, that Lakers bro, team was better than any other team that he's playing against. I can go and beat both y'all at the same time if, if that's what you want. If, if that's what the crowd wants, y'all can give me a hell yeah. Yo, crowd, if y'all want that, what is, what, is, what is the question? Yeah, What's, the question? Yeah. What's the question? 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 this game with me. What's the, what's the question? What's the, what's like, what's the question? Before, hold on. Like I said before, that man played the Wizards two times. I mean, the uh, Bullets, Bullets two times. Correct. They mm -hmm. won the chip. Don't let these dudes fool y'all. They played the Showtime Lakers with Magic and Kareem. Now, mm -hmm. it's not right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. They also played the Super Team uh, Celtics. But don't nobody want to tell y'all. Don't nobody want to tell y'all. That the Celtics was a super team. They want to dismiss that. Say, oh no, no, no. They, they were four, not a super they team. They had four Hall of Famers, three in their prime. They had three Hall of Famers. That's not that they didn't. They're not, they're, they were not a super team. Ticket. It's not a super. Three team. Hall of Famers in their prime in a super team. They're not. It's not a. They're not a super team. Ticket. That's not a super, not a super team. team. Okay. Because so because none of because none of because none of those play. Okay. okay. So since we on that since since we on that yeah. subject, if we can rewind the clock back to that Celtic team, number one, Havlicek was in year fifteen. He retired the he next season. Yeah, he was okay, old. Havlicek retired the next season. That's number one. Jojo White, I think Jojo White retired after that season. 
He was done. No, he was he, over. Jojo he, White, he, reti- he Jojo retired White two years York. later from not okay. mistaken. If, I, that's what I thought. I, I thought it was either the next he season the, or he, 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 was, he was right there. So the, so, the, so, the, so, the, so the guys, right, so the guys that you're talking about, Ticket, so essentially who you're telling us that he, that, he, that he, no, there's no way have a, there's no way that Havlicek was in his prime. He was in year 50. Ticket? Havlicek was in year 15. I'm sorry, 16. I didn't say Havlicek. He was I over. Three. You talking about Hall of Famers. That's I what you're bringing up. in your prime and one out of them. You, are, bring, you, are, you are bringing up Hall of Famers. At the, okay, not to on, mention, and I think what we're doing now is we're talking in circles. I, 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 I hate this. Well, I hate this. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate this Hall of Famer bullshit because at is. the time, none of them are Hall of Famers. I, I none of them. None of them. At most, JoJo White was was the closest to playing because he made an All NBA. Uh, all he was All NBA that year. But you naming things and players, Dave Cowan's b- built a Hall of Fame resume five years prior. Not not Bro, at that stage of his career. You're not hearing me. Them dudes, come out. All them dudes was averaging right around the same numbers. What are y'all talking about? But that's not that was not their primes, ticket. No, it wasn't. Okay, that's so what's going on. What did that Yo, ticket, that year, ticket. We got to put it in. They won 44 games, on. ticket. No, what are they doing in the playoffs? 44. What are they doing in the playoffs? They got to the second round and lost. No, no, right. How many rounds was it? Two. They got to the second okay, round. Then. So they got to the they got to the to the second round, which it was two rounds, and they lost it. And who they lose to? The sixth. Huh? They look. There was three rounds in in the in the for, conference. For, for them, for them, it would. And they lost in the second rounds. Round. And they lost in the second round. They lost That's in the second round. Come on, come on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And who was on that Sixers team? The same Sixers teams that old boy was playing Philly. during the season two. Philly. Who? Go ahead. What does Philly you know? have to do with it? What does no, Philly I'm have saying, to do? No, no, no. The Sixers team that that Celtics team lost to. Who was on that team? Dr. Tell Jay. the people the truth. The Sixers team that the Celtics lost to in what in eighty yes. one? Yeah, no, the year we talking about the first year. In seven, 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 oh, it was, so it was, was Doc. Uh, it was Kobe Bryant's father was on that crew. Doctor J. Um, let's see, yeah, yeah, Jelly Bean, Dal Jelly Dawkins, Bean, yeah. J- Jelly Bean Bryant, Doctor J, Daryl Dawkins. Keep um, telling the truth. Don't black Dow, 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 Dawkins. Um, let's let's see. Who, who, was, who was on that team? Who was on that team? Doctor J, Daryl Dawkins, Jelly Bean Bryant, um, George McGinnis was on that crew. Uh, Let's see. Doug Collins was on that Doug team. Collins was on that team. This, Bibby was on that team. But what I'm trying what, what I'm trying to make sense it's of is time, what does George this, Gervin this, have this, to do this, with Philadelphia? Not, nothing I'm, really. I don't understand that. No, nothing I'm, really. I'm, but again, this this is a casual take. Daryl Dawkins only averaged he only averaged five points that year. He averaged five points. You're just name hunting. You're just name hunting. I'm just trying to figure out what you're going to shut that up. Everybody's muted. We're going to move on. Y'all, that was one of the spiciest opening segments we've ever had. <laughs> hey, welcome everybody. I got I got my man Low over here to the right of me. I got Ticket to the left of me. Chill in the house. Mars, how you living today, man? I'm I'm happy to be here. I don't know how this all started, but I'm I'm welcome <laughs> welcome back to myself. I, I, I was waiting for an intro. I don't I don't, I don't even know. know. know and none other than fluent here. I got a couple super chats. I guess I can't be late again. Before, yeah, man. Hey, this, this, this might have been you might have started this. <laughs> if, if you would have showed up, we probably would have went a whole different direction. <laughs> but here, here we are. Uh, I'm happy that happened, and I'm telling you, we got a lot more spice than that. Super chat from my man Loaded 2K. He said, Low, what would you say about Chris Paul as a playoff performer? And do you think he has any weaknesses in his game? Chris Paul is a playoff performer. He's at he's at like a, a handful of bad performances, but for the most part, he's a solid playoff performer. Um, does he have weaknesses in his game outside of staying healthy? <laughs> um, not not it's kind much. of a big one. It's kind yeah, of it's, big. It's, it's a big one, but like outside of that, not really much. No. How, how about the fact that in the playoffs his assists go down and his turnovers go up? Do you do you uh, do you does that give him any negatives for you? Not really. I mean, no. That okay. normally happens for most people, and, and he's a, his turnovers don't go up to the point where like it's a like massive negative. Like, no, that's fine. No, I was just, I was having a magic versus CP three conversation. And I said, magic's assists go up and turnovers go down in the playoffs where CP three is the opposite. So I, I wonder if people take that into account at all. Okay. But I mean, but what, I mean, but by, by what? Like, it's not, it's fractions. It's fractions. I know it's not crazy. Well, hold on. CP threes. I think assists go down by one. His turnovers go up by fractions. Whereas uh, magic's assists go up by like one or two and his, Turnovers go down by fraction. Yeah. I was just curious what you guys thought. No. 
I, but I think right, Magic so, is better though. So kind of, yeah, Magic. Yeah, better. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. And to put this out there, we, we get a ton of super chats to show. I'm gonna try to get around to all you guys' super chats. You know, all super chats matter, but it's only a select few that I can get around to. So don't be mad if I don't get to it, but I will show it on the screen if I don't read it. Uh, next super chat from Lighthouse Sports. He said Ron the host is better than Ron the panelist, but Ron the panelist will cook you if you ever come on this platform. What up, light out? Long time don't see, brother. Facts. That's light crazy. out. We need we need you. Pull up tomorrow morning. We need well, you. Welcome. Well, welcome back, man. We, we need you, light out. You know it's basketball season when light out's back in the house. Yes, sir. The African sci-fi scholar, he says, smoke them ticket. Anything moving. LOL. All right, y'all. Uh <laughs> let's go ahead and keep it pushing. I want to talk about the preseason so far. How do we all feel about uh, what's going on? Do we have any glaring takes or anything that that is noteworthy that you want to point out at this moment in time? Before I was the right again about the Lakers. When I came in here and told all them dudes that the Lakers was going to be a damn good team this year, when I told them that Darvin Ham was going to turn the team around, I had them going to the Western Conference Finals, everybody shut their mouth real quick. It's preseason. I don't care what season it is. See, this is what you now, you, you, you never you never heard me say anything you negative about my Lakers because league. you don't understand it's basketball, easy. Slim. And listen, I can bring on twenty NBA players, and they can all tell you. For some teams, the preseason doesn't matter. But when you get smoked like the Brooklyn Nets, when you get smoked out like the Los Angeles Lakers, and when you have a new team, new pieces, and a new coach, the preseason matters because you're looking at lineups, you're seeing how guys fit, you're seeing how guys play, and even LeBron James himself said, "The guy you praise, Low," he said that I'm playing a lot more minutes this year in the preseason because we got to take it serious. You know why? Because they didn't last year and they got smoked. Started off bad, ended bad. You start off the right way, like Darvin Ham is doing, playing them guys in the first half, letting everybody know the defense is intact. See, this is what I respect about LeBron James. The defense he put on the other night against the Phoenix Suns, unbelievable. I hadn't seen LeBron James play like defense like that in six years. I can praise a dude like that. Blocking balls out of bounds to the 15th row. Diving on the floor. Plucking dudes. Active on defense. I praise stuff like that. I respect stuff like that when LeBron do stuff like that, bro. So I don't no, have you don't. To do you don't. You don't. You don't. No, you don't like someone blocking into the fifth row. That that's a lie. You know every coach get pissed off at you. If you can block it into the fifteenth row, you can grab it and come down with the ball and keep possession. You know better than that. You know better than that ticket. You nah, know better than that ticket. Nah, I respect it though, man. Like it looks bro, good. But you listen, know that's listen, not the right play listen, to do. Don't ask if I was the biggest LeBron James hater. No, but I'm. What? I challenge <laughs> all the players, even if what they, even if they're better than me, even if they were all time way better than any of us. I still challenge myself. I challenge them. It's not. It's not, it's not a sin to challenge great players, bro. It's not. You understand what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, is that everybody said last year, oh, LeBron didn't play D because he was in year 19. Yo, bro, you see the defense he's playing right now? And we're in the preseason. It's preseason. You you're not hearing me. That's my point. He own business. You got to set the tone, bro. When you get beat like that, when you ain't got the championships rolling the last couple of years, you got to come out and set the tone. You got to show everybody on the team this is what it's going to be this season. It's not going to be what it was last season. That's why I said LeBron James is going to the Western Conference Finals. The only team I got beating them is the Clippers if they stay healthy. The reason why I wasn't really paying much attention to the preseason because a lot of the preseason is dealing with rotation guys. You already got your guys that are already set in terms of your lineup. So James, KD, Irv, guys like that. You already got those guys set. You're dealing with primarily with guys in the rotation, guys trying to make the crew, stuff like that. And you don't want to get anybody beat up. The, the crew that I was paying attention to the most in the preseason has been the Cavs because I wanted to see how Donovan Mitchell fit with what this unit was doing because I think he gives them that dynamic that they didn't have, which was that wing scorer. That was the one thing that they didn't have. I thought that everything else, they were they were a top five defensive team before they got decimated by injury. And I thought that they were one of the better teams in the Eastern Conference coming into the season, potentially a top five team. But to get Donovan Mitchell and for them to have that now wing scorer that they didn't have on a consistent basis, I think that I was watching them in the preseason more than I was watching anybody else. Now, I will tell you this. I think that talking about the Brooklyn Nets, how I always, me and Tony has this conversation more than once, more than twice, If I'm, at, I'm how I'm out on the Brooklyn Nets. Well, if I'm out on the Brooklyn Nets, I got, for the same reason I'm out on the Brooklyn Nets, I got to be out on the Clippers too. Because that one common denominator with the Brooklyn Nets is KD and Irv. And there's no evidence to suggest over the last three years that this thing is going to get even better. Well, the same logic is going on with the Clippers. Over the last three years, what have I seen? 
I have seen the exact same thing. I've seen injuries and I've seen underperformance in the playoffs. Now, what they have done is they've upgraded that roster, but there is that one common denominator, which is Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Now, if that doesn't change, there's no reason for me to still be in on the Clippers. Well, no, well, actually, they upgraded around the roster too, not just those two. They they made other moves and, and brought guys back. Listen, to me, they got a good enough team where they don't have to stress those guys as much as you would in a normal season. To me, them guys going to fall back a little bit more this year and be more preserved for the playoffs. Remember, Kawhi got hurt in the playoffs last time, not in the regular season. So, And, and he was having one of the greatest playoff series in the history of the NBA when he got hurt. So, to me, like I said, the Los Angeles Clippers are there. They're a team, like I said. And everybody that says, look, I know I'm on the road when I come in here on the player's choice. I don't have a problem being on the road. I played professional basketball 16 years. Wait, 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 wait. Ticket, hold you're on. not going to suck me in with that. You know no, why you're not going to suck hold me hold in with that? Because you're the same one that told me about – you told, you're, the, you're the same one that told me about how Kawhi Leonard is basically like day-to-day -day Davis no, when he's always saying, in and out of the lineup. No, now, all of a sudden, this is a good no, thing no, 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 no. for the Clippers. I'm saying so. this, bro. I'm saying this because when you look at the Clippers team, right. the Clippers have a starting five coming off the bench. Okay. So what I'm saying is, is that now you don't have to put that much stress on Kawhi during the season because now, guess what? If you look at their bench, their mm -hmm. bench can start on, on any team in the NBA. So what? now when you got those – what you say? What you say, Floyd? John Wall. No, 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 no. Wall? no John Wall going to start. Hold so on, no, no, no. Reggie Jackson is yeah, starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, John, John, John Wall. John Wall is washed. Norman Powell. Uh, Luke Kennard. Really hold, 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 hold on, hold on, Luke Kennard, Batum, and Covington. That's a starting five on what team? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Norman Powell averaged almost twenty for the last two or three years, right? He started on the other teams. I'm saying he can start on damn near any team in the NBA, except for maybe five teams. Not a championship team. Almost twenty point. Norman Powell almost averaged 20 points per game. Plus, mm -hmm. he's a world champion. He has that experience. Plus, he plays D. That's facts. However, now, let's keep cooking. Reggie Jackson has mm -hmm. that experience to be a starting point guard. He'll yeah. be coming off the bench. I, no, he is starting. I don't Reggie, think John Wall's not. Back, John Wall's not now, well, either way, they, you can start John Wall. So, mm -hmm. either way, you can mix it however you want to do it. Let's keep going down the line. Right. Robert Covington. He can start at three for anybody. He was just starting for Philly. He's their biggest X factor. If that, you was, look at the that, was, that was years ago. 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 I know y'all don't watch NBA basketball because that's not true. That's not true. The difference between me and y'all, and this is why everybody talking about some casual. No, the hardcore fans watch all the games. I watched the preseason to see the other guys. I watched all the games. I got the NBA TV pack and got five screens in here. I watched. I watched. I watched preseason two. I just don't watch it. I don't. I just don't think that. I just don't think that it's as prevalent as. Okay, so time out. So time out. So who was the biggest difference maker after the after the trade? He started for the Philadelphia 76ers. That was like 2019. Robert Covington was the biggest difference for the Clippers after the trade deadline last year. That's a fact. You can look it up. He was the biggest plus for the Clippers last year. Robert Covington. He turned his whole career around when he went to so the you, So you're saying Robert oh. Covington starts on more than half of the teams in the NBA? Yeah, bro, he's a 3 and D. Yes. But did he, wait, wait, did, did he start for the Clippers last year? No, I said he got traded over there late in the season. I get, so I get, I get that, but you're, saying, but you're saying he could be a starter, but did he even yes, start for I'm the team? Ticket, what I don't want is I don't want this to be. He, in the chat, I, I, he, did, he didn't I, start for the Clippers. Ticket, what I don't want bro, this to be. Is, I don't I want. say he started for the Clippers. Here's the thing, Ticket. I got traded over there. I said, listen to what I said. I'm sometimes listening. I think y'all don't understand that reading and listening is fundamental. So uh, some of y'all need to go to school. Take you, you, you should never talk to anybody listen. about listening, Ticket. You know your mama told you you have two ears and one mouth so you can listen twice as much as you talk? I think you do they the reverse that, bro. They have a bench that can start on any team. Robert Covington can start for any team. So can Norman Powell, who averaged 20 the last couple of years and played D and is a world champion. So can uh, jo uh, John Wall or right. the point guard. Right. I can keep going. Now, and, and if they bring Zubac off the bench, because mm -hmm. they might play small, or they bring what you call it, the bench, they can, he can start on any team. Right. And then at the four, an uh, old boy that, played, that comes off the bench for them at the four can start on any team. So cut it out. Now, with that, now, with that, also, now, now, with that also being said, Ticket, there's still the one common denominator, which I got to in the beginning, which was Leonard and Paul George. That was my issue. And it's the same issue that I had with the Brooklyn Nets. That's it. Nobody was questioning the, the, the Los Angeles Clippers talent. I'm not questioning it. I'm what I'm what I'm what I'm looking at when I look at the Los Angeles Clippers is I'm looking at the same thing that I see with the Brooklyn Nets, which is Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, which guys who are under which is which are guys who are underperforming and which are guys who are injured all the time. That's what I'm looking at. Now I can appreciate 
the logic with the with the with the Clippers. I can appreciate the logic with them them building that unit a better talent around both Leonard and Paul George. I can appreciate that logic. However, what I can't appreciate is what those guys have still done over the last three years. Okay, under, Ethan, under, yeah, under, the under, San Diego under, Slippers are going to disappoint you again. Do on, not, on, do on, not put your money on them. and being fluent, injured. Fluent, That's the difference. Fluent, fluent. fluent. Yo, I'm yo, not after this ticket, I need to hear from you, Mars, on preseason. I got the Bucks winning the chip, fluent. I'm, I agree. I'm just saying, I agree. I, all I'm saying to you is, is if you look at the Clippers, bro, right. to me, they have the all-around best team. If Their they name's play, on paper. Their name's on paper, yes. Bro, not only on paper, come on. Not only on paper, bro, they were kicking ass and taking names until Kawhi got hurt in the playoffs. I thought they were an NBA Finals team before Leonard got hurt. I ain't going to fight that. That's I, what thought, I'm saying I, to you. I thought that they were – but that's the difference, though, Ticket. Still. The difference. Still. That was the difference right there, Ticket, the fact no, that he got – you said they're the same as Brooklyn. They're not because here's and the difference. And, 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 Hold on. Watch this right here. Here go to Ether right here. What has KD done away from Steph as far as winning? What has Kyrie done away from LeBron as far as winning? Kawhi's won a championship away from Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and Manu Ginobili. And that's not the and that's not that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the crew that he's on right now. Over the last three years, they have underperformed. They didn't, didn't, didn't Ticket just make a, the great case last week that Kawhi went to a great team in Toronto that was prepared to win? Yeah, I know. I, know. I, was just, I was gonna let it. I was gonna let it win. Hold on, I'm with you. Hold on. Oh, you're gonna let it go. All right, my bad. I'm gonna listen. I'm with you, but here's the bigger here's the bigger problem. Right, Kyrie was with a team that was prepared to win two in Boston, and he couldn't stay healthy. And then he got smoked the next year. They, right. was, they went to the finals. Right. Oh, excuse me, they, they was going to the finals. They got smoked because he couldn't play in that game seven. He couldn't play in that series, so they lost. And then when he came back, they got smoked. That team was ready to go then. Then KD, he had a ready made team that was ready to go in OKC. He got smoked in the finals. So both of them, Kawhi, Kyrie. And KD all have similar situations. As far as that's concerned, all I'm saying is I seen Kawhi win a chip away from Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and Manu Ginobili. That doesn't take away what I said about Kawhi if he don't win this year. All right, Mars, talk to us. What what are um, your takeaways from the preseason so far? Well, one take I have, I think the Charlotte Hornets are gonna go all in for Victor and Benyama. They look terrible. Garbage. Um, they look garbage. atrocious. Um, every time I've watched them, I'll, I'm I'm not gonna blame. I'm not gonna blame the coach, but they look so bad. I think it's between them, Mars. It's between them and Utah. That's that, that's the worst. Two I, teams I agree. I, I don't think that they've been in the play in the last couple of years. They get smoked. I think this year they're gonna go all in for Victor Wembanyama. They're gonna win like eighteen games. Garbage. Lamelo Ball is gonna get shut down halfway through the season. They're not. They're not gonna try and win any games. <laughs> The the way they've been looking is is really bad. It's black. It's small, really bad. Don't, don't, to... don't let that Victor kid go. Don't let that Victor kid go go to Charlotte. Wow. I mean, I think him and Lamelo. Anything that anyone anything that about the draft, draft, draft is Charlotte. garbage. He's gonna ruin his yeah. career. It's like a curse. No, I don't know what? about that, Tom. The Mellow Ball, the Mellow Ball is actually one of the premier guards in the game. So that's not true, Tom. How many years? How many years has he been getting players on the team? He's only he just got there two years no, ago. So no, they no, like no, he's been no, there for no, five no. years. Give me a break, man. They, 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 they everything to... he touched since he's retired. Stop it. Well, wait a minute. We're talking about two different things here. We're talking about Jordan as a as an owner. We're talking about Jordan as a GM. Now That's he right. hasn't That's he right. hasn't been stellar. However, Lamelo Ball has been a lot better. You're One not giving how many? You're not giving him nearly One as much credit. As I mean, damn, Tom. But Miles Bridges, Miles Bridges was 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 in the running for most improved. He was on his way to doing something serious before he got into that nonsense. And Mike didn't want to pay him. So, I mean, they were building something there. They were absolutely building something there. So, no, 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 all right, Charles. So everybody want to know why I got the lights off because I'm in the graveyard. I got bodies on the way. You ain't killing nothing over don't, here. Don't, 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 yeah, don't, 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 don't let them go. Don't let them go. <laughs> <laughs> dead, dead. <laughs> all right, Charles. So speaking of which, the next topic actually was going to be Victor with oh, okay. Min Yama. Uh, I got a super chat right quick. From uh, my man Eric Dupree, he said, "Who projects Victor in your mama making All NBA as a rookie?" I don't know if he's that good. No, he's no, not. He's, he's, not. He not, he's not. He's not that good. But he's he can make All NBA in his second year, though, for sure, without a doubt. How are you guys putting so much praise on an eighteen-year-old? I just man? said he could. I said he could. I wouldn't put my money on. Oh, what you oh, what you looking at when you see this kid? Nothing. He's 18. Because I, I see the future of the NBA when I'm looking at him. Fact. That's what right, I see. And, and hold on. Just, just a second. You see I'm nothing? Go, I'm, I'm nothing go, is crazy. I'm going to go just, ahead and break down I, what Victor has, has done so far. Uh, in, in just nine preseason games, he's averaging 25, nine rebounds, 1.5 assists, three and a half blocks. He's doing all of that shooting 50% from the field, 
42% from three. Uh, he's only 18. He's playing mm-hmm. against, you know, uh, professional, actual basketball players. Um, he came over here, played against the G League Ignite, scored 37 the first night. Mm-hmm. Next night, turned around, had 36 11. And what mm-hmm. was most impressive to me is that he had four blocks the first game and five blocks the second game. Mm-hmm. But long over here, somebody got a casual tape. <laughs> we're, we're hearing a lot about this dude. Seven foot five, eight foot one wingspan. I want you guys to get into him. Uh, pause and let me know how you guys feel about this guy coming into the league. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he's the best prospect we've ever seen in terms of coming into the NBA, what he could become. I think, like Richard Jefferson said, if LeBron James was in this draft, Victor Wembanyama would still go number one. That is not that, ridiculous to say that. That doesn't, mean, that doesn't mean Victor Wembanyama is going to have a better career than LeBron. Right. Or he's going to become better than LeBron. But as a prospect, mm-hmm. he's the best prospect you've ever seen, in my opinion, especially built for this modern NBA. A seven foot four guy, put the ball on the floor, shoot from anywhere. He's... The defensive potential is through the roof, but it's just about him, A, being strong enough, staying healthy, and just putting it all together. Because right now, the offensive game is, is raw. I think like when he went 7 for 11, that's just, he had a great night. That's not something yeah. sustainable Bavard, right what now. What did he do the next night, though? And he was at mind, 2 for 9 from 3. He was at 2 it, for 9 from 3 the next oh, game. Like okay. It's not keep sustainable mind, to it, shoot 7 for It's only a 9-game clip. It's only a 9-game clip. Yeah, it's not. It's, he's 42%. He's, yeah, he's not. It's not a sustainable level of shooting because I watched him in Europe last year. It's a different game. The, the shooting wasn't there. He had he has potential to become a good shooter, but he's not going to be forty percent his first year in the NBA. Like that's not going to happen. But he could be first year like sixteen points a game, just simply off like like a Zion type sixteen, where you don't have to draw up many plays for him. He's going to run the floor in transition. He's going to get lobs. He can he can spot up like instantly in the NBA. And his defense, he could be an all defensive candidate first year. Similar to Evan Mobley, it's just whether or not he can adjust to the NBA game fast enough, in my opinion. When I watch him, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead chill. When I watch him, he looked to me like Ralph Sampson with a handle and a jump shot. That's who I see when I see him. And his ability to rim protect. The thing that I the thing that concerns me with him is his health, but he just looks more stable and he looks sturdier than like Chet Holmgren. He looks he, he definitely looks more filled out than those guys, and he looks like he'll be able to basically sustain that. And as he gets older, he'll be able to fill out a little bit more. So his skill set is just going to improve. I've said this, Tony, and I've had this conversation. He looks to me like he's the future of the NBA, that in the next 10 to 15 years, that this is what the NBA is going to look like. It's going to be a bunch of six foot ten to seven foot three, seven foot four dudes running around, shooting the long ball and handling the basketball. And it looks like it's not only going to start with him, it's just going to get enhanced by him. That's what it looks like with me, with, for me. Low, how you feel about Victor? No, I more or less agree. I don't know if there's going to be that many more copycats because when you get to that height, I mean, as we all know, trying to stay healthy becomes a, a consistent problem. Right. If he stays healthy, he will be more or less an anomaly. So I, I think it normally caps out around the 6'10", 6'11", 7-foot area with the 80s, Giannis's, um, KD's, Garnett's, around that range. Somebody 7'4", he, he would be more or less an anomaly of an anomaly. But, yeah, like, I mean – the, it's very clearly what he could be. Um, I, I don't. I'm not going to speak as if like I know like the prospects of yesteryear, like Kareem and Bill Walton and them right. coming in. But since <laughs> since LeBron, no, nah, undeniably he's the best prospect I've seen since LeBron. So I think that that speaks high marks to him because I mean AD, Kevin Durant, Greg Oden, Zion, they were all amazing heading into the league. So um, the f- simple fact that he is in that conversation alone. Let you know he's obviously a can't miss. The one thing I, that I do personally like about him is, like everybody's saying, he he handles himself very well physically and has solid body, um, body control for somebody his height. Even if he's not like a consistent shot creator like that, I don't really think it's going to matter off the dribble as much, mainly just because he has really – it looks like he has really good body control. Mm-hmm. The you know, footwork, he, sh- he showed me a lot, though, in those two games against the Ignite. The, sh- the looks that he was getting, basically off creative. Yeah, but I, I'm he, not. The he, reason he, why I'm not. The, the reason why I'm not sold on it too much is because when you get in the NBA and teams are scheming against you, he'll be able to get away with that with some of the bottom feeding teams, and that's cool. But the the harder teams will scheme against him a certain way, and more than likely, what they're going to do is just um put smaller forwards on him or smaller guards to kind of like get at his um handle. So he has to have a really tight handle. I know he's gonna have to have one in the NBA, but he definitely has like he's shown. You're, I agree with you. He's shown a lot of potential. No doubt. Like without a doubt. But. Flu- fluent. You were saying that you don't really like him. You think he's overhyped. I want to know what prospects do you think are possibly better than him? After you tell us really why you don't think he 
he's going to be all of that. All right. There, look, there isn't a prospect in his class that's going to be better than him for raw potential because of his size and his already ability. I'd say Kareem was probably more of a higher prospect coming out of college than 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 this kid is. Um, but that being said, what I don't like is I don't like these uh, these super tall, skinny kids. More of them fail than succeed. More of them fail than succeed. So I haven't probably watched. I'll be I'll be upfront. I probably have not I've, of the panel. I've watched the least of this guy play. So I'll I'll be upfront with that. I just I don't like these tall, skinny kids. They 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 always have health issues, staying healthy, staying on the court for the most part. So, so I just I don't want to get too high on an eighteen year old. That's all. I'm not saying anything negative about him. I just I I always want to wait and see. I said, look, Zion, we're gonna see this year. But what I what did I tell everybody about Zion? I said he's he's too heavy. He doesn't walk right. He doesn't know how to land. He's gonna be hurt. What happened in his first few years? Doesn't know how to walk right. Doesn't know how to land, and he's been hurt. I hope he gets healthy and better. And I hope he slims down. And so far this offseason, we're kind of seeing that, I think. Kind of? No, we're not kind of seeing that. He looks fantastic. He, he looks fantastic right now. Yes, yes absolutely. I, I agree. But that's what I said early in his career, unless he does something. If this kid doesn't fill out, it, it's going to be hard for him to be as successful as you guys are having him all defensive, all NBA by second year. I, I think that's really high expectations. I think it's too high for him. Well, when you're talking about a guy who is... Now, I'm not saying he won't be there year four, year five. I'm not right. saying, I'm saying year two and year one. Like, Mars said all defensive year one and Lowe said all NBA year two. I think that's I think that's too high. Why? And Evan, Evan Mobley was said, borderline. I just said Evan can. Mobley was borderline. He was going to make yeah, the only defensive saying, yeah. team. Before I, Evan I, Mobley I got think, hurt, he was going to yeah, make the only defensive Yama team. has similar potential. Yeah, he was absolutely going to do that. He hit the nail on the head. Before he got hurt, he was. Yeah. Before he, right? before Evan Mobley got well, hurt. Yeah. Ask, ask him to do that in year one and two. I think it's high. I think it's too high. I'm I'm not saying I expect. I'm saying he has the potential. I just say, I'm not saying. Oh, 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 okay. It's potential. Oh, okay. I'm not. I'm yeah. not. I'm not, I'm not gonna gonna well, that's what we're talking about anyway, Tom. Be because defensive. go ahead. I'm but sorry, he has Martin. the ability. He has the ability. Yeah. That's all it is. So just okay. Yeah. All right. Yo, ticket. How do you feel about Victor and what he's gonna? Let me cook these two dudes real quick. Low and fluent. I'm gonna ask you two questions real quick, Ron. Ron, how long you been watching Victor? I've been watching Victor since I think he came on the scene around 2019. Right. As he does, he have a, a reputation of being injury prone. Not that I know of. Not from what I've seen. No, no, he doesn't. And has he played in tougher league than what basically we would call the NBA right now? A league that plays a tougher style of basketball. He, he, he played well, in the Euro League last year. He played well, for Asheville. Okay, so let's get to the point. And I want to. Oh, this, is, this is what I want everybody to understand. Because, see, when I come in here, I, like I said, I know I'm on the road. I got to go get 50 every night on the road to get a win over here. Right? Watch this. When we saw Jokic come in the league, and this is for all these dudes to say overrated and stuff like this, right? Jokic, Giannis, Luka, the list goes on where all of the players, international players have come in the league, all the great international players, Right? All the way down the line, Tim Duncan, everybody else that played, all these all-time great players, half the league right now that's, that's the best players in the league are not even from the United States of America, right? right? Plus the players that's in the league. Who you ever seen come in the league with footwork like this kid got in the post when he's catching it, doing the, doing the, doing the dream shake, right? right? The last time we saw somebody doing that type of stuff is Kareem, dream shaking, fading away out of bounds, 7-5, hitting shots, leaning out of bounds. Hitting threes, leaning, falling out of bounds, hitting threes at seven five, pulling up, can't nobody block his shot. Pulling up in transition, like KD, the same stuff KD doing, but at seven five. Shot unblockable. Takes it to the rack hard. Good touch around the basket. Can finish around the rack. Can finish strong around the rack. Will dunk on your face. Does have to be more consistent rebounding, and attentive on defense a little bit more. But it's a good, good. You know what I'm saying? Great knack for blocking shots. Bro, I'm going to say this now. I'm going to say it again. He's better than any other international player that was scouted coming into the NBA. When you saw him play in America for two days, they said they, they had better re re reviews for him than any other international player. And that's saying a lot. More than Jokic. MVP twice. More than Giannis. MVP twice. More than And we talking about Giannis every week on this show. Like he can be one of the top five greatest players that ever played the game. Victor right now, 
coming into the league is more skilled than any player you've ever seen, maybe outside of Kim Olajuwon, but I'm talking about 18 years old. That's where I was going with it. I'm glad you hey, cleared that up because that's where I was going with it. Facing you up, the Carmelo jab step, backing you down, dream shake, fade away, up and under, leaning. I ain't never seen nothing like it before, bro. 7-5, who's going to block his shot? Who? And, we, and when Low said teams can scheme for him, how can you scheme for somebody that you can't block their shot? You just you I, just attack him before he pulls up. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying again because you you making it you making it seem like I'm saying he's basket. And guess what? If you double team him, guess what? He looks right over top of the defense and makes an easy pass to the cutter. Now I want to see that more often though. The problem the problem though is that they were sample size though the sample yeah, it's, it's, size it's, it's, it's a very it's small sample small. size. It's, it's so small. small. You brought up he played for Asavel or whatever. 16 games, average nine points a game. It's, it's at 18 minutes. Yeah. The sample size is so okay, small. Man. Hold on. The sample, hold on. The sample size is so small. And then you compared him to Jokic and Giannis. Jokic and Giannis did now. Uh Doncic is an is, is an exception to the rule, but those two guys took years to develop. They that's didn't come into the league ready. That's so that's, saying, again, that's my biggest thing Chill. is that. Chill. I don't think he's gonna be that guy right out the gate. Fluent. I got a lot of love for you, Fluent, but this is what I'm saying to you, bro. He hate me. Look though. where his skill level is at right now. <laughs> I hate you too, Joe. Fluent. <laughs> skill level is unbelievable. Now, Fluent, let me ask you two questions. Just like Chill always say, what is gonna happen when he comes to now? His skill level is at that now. What's gonna happen when he comes to the NBA when he get around these NBA cats? And now, I I it? agree with you on that. The fact that this is his the worst that he will ever be is Thank crazy. You. That's, that's now, that is that that's, that's crazy. Why chill town that's, say that. that's crazy. Chill this is the worst. This is the worst he'll ever be. Well, outside of him, are you saying, are are you saying nobody's come into the NBA, gone onto the wrong team, hasn't gotten coached well, and has gotten worse from what they did in college? Or whatever? Wait, 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 you, under, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You, you um, what I'm saying is that more than, you more literal, than likely, you don't want me to take you literally. Yeah, but more than likely, he'll do nothing more but improve at this point in his career. Okay. So the fact that like. As raw as he is, regardless of whatever level of rawness you want to say he's at, the fact that he's this raw and this is what the product looks like at this stage of his career. So we're basically seeing him at the basement. That's what we're yeah, seeing. Yeah, we, if, right if this and is his and basement, and we're saying hopefully those skills improve. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, puts, he puts in the work. I just don't see how they can't, Tone. When I when I when I when I look yeah, at a guy that's, like that's this, when problem, I look at his skill, yeah. I, I don't see how they, I don't see how he can't improve. And barring got, barring any like, injuries. Um, he acting well, like but but that's the big one too, right? Barring any injuries. But that's with any player, Tone. Any any, any big guy. Player. That that that's not a situation where we look, we just talking about him in particular. That's with any player, barring injury or any health in, any health issues. When I look at this kid, I don't think that there's a there's a situation where he won't improve and get better. And if he's gonna get better, once again, I think I'm looking at the future of the NBA. This is what the right. NBA is gonna look like in the next 10, 15 years. I, I don't know how to be the future shot, of the shot, NBA shoot, because though. you can't teach height. You're not gonna get a bunch of seven yeah, foot. I, 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 I agree, I agree. Is, hold on, just agree. think about it. As I is right now today, and I've said this to you before, Joe, as it is today, one in 10, so 10% of everyone who's seven feet or taller is already in the NBA. Right. How many more do you think that's going to – like you can't <laughs> – no, they don't just grow no. all over the place. That, 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 is, that is also true, Tone. But if I'd have told you 15 years ago that we would have guys like Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant, if we had guys like that running around in the NBA shooting 25-foot fallaway threes, you'd have been like, get the hell out of there. That's not the game. Only but except it is the game. Have like that? We have a bunch of guys. Jokic is doing that. KD is doing that. Uh, Giannis is doing that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Luca is what six nine. He's doing it. So we got a lot of big guys. Tone. It's not like we got a bunch of six six and six I'm five guys looking around. Eight six nine, seven two seven fours. Right. And and I do think that. And I do think that when I look at guys like when I when I look at guys like him, I think that that skill set and big guys like that. I think that that's the future of the NBA. That's okay. Okay. And guys with handle and shot. Okay. Yes, we're seeing that. I'm with you there. The no, seven foot Pop plus is the one that I'm like. Fluent. Pop gave away his whole team because his scouting team seen this kid, bro. Their yeah. scouting team seen this kid years ago. So they already been planning for this. Asian Wojnowski said it's the best prospect in the last, he said, ever of all time. Teams would give 10 draft picks, 10 years of draft picks to get, pick this kid. So when we seen Danny Ainge just go to Utah and try to blow it all up, these people ain't stupid. They know he what time doing that. He, Danny Ainge is not doing that. He, he's doing that on purpose. He yes, he is. He's doing, he doing that on purpose. That's not a coincidence. <laughs> I hope it works out for him. I hope it works out for him. It's not it's gonna work out for him. Hold on, wait. Victor, Victor in Utah? They were broke. He gonna I like that, Jay? Listen, listen. No. He gonna like that, Jay? Why not? Rudy did. 
Bro, them dudes working he's hard. Rudy, what? Is he going to like Utah, I said? Hey. It don't matter. Why not Jay tell the truth? Is he going to like Utah? No. <laughs> Utah, right, so. Utah's a little bit different today than it was when I was there. Way different. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna jump into these super chats right quick, and then we are going to get into. Shout out to Scoop. Shout out to Scoop Henderson. He also nasty. Bro, that boy, tough. Man. Hey, shout out to the two twins too. Yes. Uh, at, you at know what's overtime? so crazy? I what's saw. Up? Yeah, I, I commentated overtime, and I saw them live. Bro, they nasty, bro. I, they nasty. I actually think that. Uh, how you say his name? Amen or Amen? Uh, amen. 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 I I actually think he's better than Scoop. Personally, <laughs> he's he he's taller. Longer, better look, defender. Look, look, this is the, the, I'm, I'm. I hope I don't lose my job over at o, OT, but the competition over there isn't high enough for me to make the assessment yet. I got, I got to see him against World Cup. But I got you. And Scoot really impressed me when he played against yeah. uh, Victor's team. Scoot was I crazy. Yeah, I, I didn't know Scoot really had was, that. Now Scoot was nasty. Formed that first game, second game, it was. Uh, but you he got hurt. He got okay. hurt. So. He got more of a chance oh, of being he a got hurt. He had a like collision he with um, Victor, Victor, so they took him Scoot out. Who got more of a chance of being a bust than Victor? I, but I don't think I don't think either one of them gonna be bust though. I think. No, Scoot I ain't is. saying it. I'm saying he yeah, got yeah, more yeah. Of a I'm saying he got yeah. more of a chance, bro. But bro, Scoot listen. is nasty. Vic, hey, listen, bro. You can't. I always my coach has always told me this my whole career. You can't teach size, bro. And when oh, you got sure. size like that with skills, bro, fluent can't block. Listen, the one thing I learned to respect about. Well, one thing I want to say this to Fluent, though, because I was thinking about something. One thing I respect about the European, the players from overseas, South America, Europe, all you know, one, one thing I always respect, they discipline what they work yeah. from when they're kids. Yeah. And I'm talking about when, when I go to practice, the kids are at practice before us mm -hmm. going through our drill, like doing all the stuff we doing. They're there almost every every day except for one day. They're there. That's so at you, 14 years old, by the way. That's 14, right. 15 years old. These kids are so, there doing that. Yeah. So when you see half the league, like – Chill said, bro, in like four years, most of the superstars in the league are going to be not from America. Watch what I tell you. Now, I will say this. The overtime facility was built like that. So hopefully it becomes – because I've been to the overtime facility. Bro, that facility, bro, they, they got it. They got yeah. it to where like, bro, everywhere see, you turn, like, they got it to – But that's they only – school, though. Great. They're not doing that here, though. Over there, they're not No, but that's, but that's the thing oh, with you know OT. What, you know that's what, the thing with OT. That's, that's the school, though. Like, they also oh, – okay. They all they got it to I, where, gonna, like, I think you're gonna see. Up. I think people are seeing that European players are come over are coming yeah. over more ready to play, yeah. and I think the U.S. will catch up because you guys you see it and you're like, okay, what are they doing differently? Well, they're having these guys, kids, play against grown men, and they're yes. having them interact and play and understand how mm -hmm. to be professional and how to work on their skills. I th I, I don't I think the what you're saying where there's gonna be these there there is the un there is already an influx of European superstars. I think. Everyone's gonna start catching up though because they realize what they're doing different. Hopefully, because it's better for the game. We might work for the game. A lot harder because them kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. I'm with okay. you. Facts. Facts. All right, y'all. To dive into these super chats, I'm about to. But if you haven't liked the video already, go ahead and do that. We giving you supreme content. Shout out everybody that's commenting, watching, and has subscribed to the channel. We just hit forty two thousand. We trying to double that in the next few months. Y'all help us do that. Uh, Dub. <laughs> None other than the infamous. Oh, here we go. He Talk said, about casual takes. Cut the cap. CP3 is better. Stop context. Bending. No, yeah. And, 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 and if y'all really want to see, him, is there anyone who thinks Magic Jones is better than Magic? No, he's, not. Not. he's not. not better than Magic. No, no he's not. Stop. He is not, Dub. You, you, you're just saying that because you're trying to ruffle some feathers. You ain't ruffling mine. No. He's not, he not better than Magic. No, no, no. So cut it out. All right, y'all. Trail buckets. He said, "Is it crazy saying Kareem is number one all time?" I got killed for this take on TikTok. No. Hey, hey, Trill. So did I. Hey, but no. let the cows. It's not ridiculous. It's not ridiculous to say that. It's not. <laughs> I've always felt uh, it's not. Ticket. You and I have had this. Me and you have had this debate, and we've gone at it time and time again. And I've said to you time and time again that if your list starts with James Jordan Jabbar if it goes Jabbar James Jordan if it goes Jordan James Jabbar I got no problem with that because each one of those three guys has a legit argument for being the best player in in, in basketball history not just in the NBA in basketball history each but of those three guys mine don't mine go mine go mine go Mike Kareem and Kobe okay That's how mine go. and I mean the documentary proved why it was Kobe to me I mean, Ooh, I mean, that was a good doc. That was a good doc. That documentary did not prove that to me. It, it did not. The teacher had no to shit in it. How to win. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, Ticket. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad you brought that up. Let me, let me add to the super chat. Yes, Kareem has a legit shot. And if you include more than just NBA, 100%. I'm with yes, you. Yes, without doubt. Absolutely. Go ahead, go ahead, chill. 
I'm glad that you brought that up, Ticket, because you talk about Kobe kicking in the door going, yes, the boss is here, pay attention. What you completely leaving out, what actually happened previous to that. So let's start the conversation with the fact that Kobe Bryant was five years, count him, count him, Ticket, five years removed from winning the NBA championship. We'll start there. Let's also talk about the fact that he was coming in with this winning attitude. Meanwhile, Dwayne Wade, the summer before that, was the finals MVP. So there was also some championship pedigree on there. That's number two. Number three, Kobe Bryant wasn't exactly loved by everybody. He had a lot of things going on with him. Well, what do you mean he had a lot of things going on with him? The last three years, 2005, zero. He didn't make the playoffs. 2006, out in round one. 2007, bounced in round one. Not only bounced in round one, he demanded a trade. So as much as those guys needed him, he needed them too. And why did he need them? He needed them simply because the rap on him was, you're selfish. Hold on, you are that guy. I'm not done. He didn't get bounced in round one two years in a row. Oh, my God. No, he blew, he blew the free one lead, and then he got bounced in five by the Suns the next year. There it is. Two I years in a row. By the Phoenix Suns. He, 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 he lost to the Suns by blowing the free one. Ah, 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 that's right, that's and right. And then he, and then he, and then he lost to the five. That's right, now, that's right. Now, so mm -hmm. with that, so, and, and, and with that being said, as I, as I was saying, so I, I don't want to get off the track. Mm -hmm. as, much as, as much as they needed him, he needed them too. It wasn't a situation where Kobe Bryant kicks in the door and goes, yo, you guys get on my page. No, I don't have to get on your page. You don't have no, to get on my no. page. Not done. We got to get on each other's page. This is what happened in August of 2007, and it wasn't a coincidence. Once Kobe Bryant got on that crew, the next year he wins the league MVP and his team is in the NBA championship. Why? Because he gets on that crew, and in the process of him getting on that crew, he learns how to integrate himself, not only integrate himself, how to be more of a leader than he was in the past. Now, So hold on, hold on. You're not going to give him credit for every single one of those players seeing him and how, how to work to be a professional? Oh, I'm not saying that at all. No, I'm not, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is that as, 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 hold up, hold up, take it. Let me as, as as much what I'm saying, Tone, is as much as they needed him, he needed them too. And it wasn't oh. a situation. It, it wasn't a situation where he walks in the door and I'm here. Pay attention. No, it wasn't like that at all. First of all, first of all, since you said it about Kobe Bryant not being light, I feel the same way too. I'm not light, but guess what? I'm still one of the damn best out here, if not the best, right? So that's what Kobe was, right? And you don't have to ask. We don't have to ask you or me. We can ask. LeBron James himself, because that same year he was on 60 Minutes saying Kobe Bryant is better than me. And then the very I next year, he was on ESPN saying Kobe's the best player in the world on both ends of the court. And I repeat myself again. So in both of those years you're talking about, that first day year they played Olympics, LeBron James was on national TV saying Kobe Bryant was better than him and was the best player in the world. So you can say whatever you want. The player says something else. Now, let's say what you just said. Oh, you walk in the door. And no, that's exactly what happened. He walked in the door and said, I'm tired of watching y'all getting y'all ass kicked. Let's go. Because the dude y'all called the king and all of his little horsemen and all his five. He was in year five. Was in year five. Women, they was getting their butts kicked overseas. Mm -hmm. And it was an embarrassment of the world. Those are facts. LeBron James, yeah, he was loved. He was the king. He was all this. He was getting shamed at that time because he kept coming up short. And they said he couldn't do it. They said he was starting to say he was overhyped. And he was starting to say, hold on. They were starting to say he wasn't this, he wasn't that. Then when they lost to the when they lost in the in the, in the Olympics, they really got cooked. Him, Melo, all them boys. So it took the that was the summer of his rookie year, by the way. That was the summer after his rookie. That was the summer after his rookie season. He, was was a, was he, was rookie season. he oh, barely played. Not only that. He but keep going, ticket. I'm whooped. sorry. Keep going. He was still getting whooped, and everybody was starting to question him at that time. Especially when they lost the Olympics. They was questioning him big time. They got heavy criticism for that. That's why they recruited Kobe to come in. And that's exactly what happened. When Kobe came in, first day he said, tired of watching y'all get y'all ass kicked. And let me tell you something else. Kobe Bryant showed all them dudes how to be better professionals. You ain't got to ask me. Ask them. They said it on the show. And Which is a fact. That's watch a fact. That, that is yeah. a fact. Workout, all this workout warrior stuff LeBron's doing early in the morning stuff, they got that from Kobe because they saw how hard Kobe Bryant mm -hmm. was down there working Correct. every single day. So that rubbed up. So he came in with that leadership quality. Right. And then let's get to the meat and potato. That's something you really need to understand. My man, Kobe Bryant set the tone with all of them on how to have killer instinct and how to be a killer on that first play when he went and knocked Kyle Gasol ass out and told him what he was going to do, and none of them could believe 
that he would do that with his own teammate. But right. Kobe said, look, when you're playing against me, this is the mentality you have to have right. when you're playing against somebody. Right. So not only did he set the tone in practice when he came in, they right. all said it. He said it in the game. So now, listen, you need to you need to appreciate and respect respect the greatness of Kobe Bean Bryant, a dude who ran away from Shaq to prove how great he was. And this is my problem with your boys now. They run to each other to prove how great they are. Kobe Bryant ran away from Shaquille to show how great he was. Ah, uh, the good old running away from the grind, Addy. And then he go. tried to run away from the situation he created. Not, 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 not only and did he almost try to get no, Kevin Garnett no, on the team. Not, 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 not only. Not only. No, that's fine. I agree he needed better teammates. Yeah, when you have say he didn't run from the grind, you're allowed to ask for better teammates. But LeBron, if LeBron is the same thing, then he's being vilified. But what are we saying? It's the same thing. Well, not only that, not only that, Lo. Let's get you, not you, not Not only that, Lo. Let's get back to the fact that, Okay, the work ethic was there with Kobe Bryant, That's right? Sure. That was there. However, we did have to get Kobe Bryant back to getting integrated on a unit because everything was him. Everything was about him and just him alone. And he had to get back on that unit and understand that in order for me to win, I got to get these. I got to get on not just these dudes page. We all got to get on the same page. It ain't just about me. It ain't just about them. It's about us. Now, I'm going to bring my work ethic. These dudes are going to watch what I'm doing, no question about that, and they're going to get on, and they're going to bring what they have to what we're doing. However, I'm not t I'm not trying to hear the logic that he just came in and kicked open the door and goes, all right, I'm here. I'm the dude. We saw it. Said, no, he did we not. We saw it. That's what happened. No, that's he not what happened. He came in and literally said, I'm here because right. I'm tired of watching y'all get y'all ass kicked. Did right. you not say that before? He did say that. Yes, right. he did say so that. However, and, and, the, and not only did it work, it worked because – he had to get with them dudes, Ticket. Don't make it sound like it was just them getting on his page. That's not look, the way that did, worked. He did, look, he did, look, he did open up a little. He did, he did open up a little more so than before. Because he had, oh, but even in those practices and those things, like the first, the first practice that he was there, he sat alone. That's just who he was. And people didn't understand his personality. But I think what you're saying, Chill, is right. He opened up and allowed those guys in a little bit. But I think more so, like if I was waiting it, more so, he, he did wasn't. set the tone. Like those guys said, once he ran through Paul Powell, we knew we weren't losing to, to Spain. That was Kobe. Kobe's the, guy, Kobe's the guy at 5.30 in the morning hitting the gym when they're coming yeah. home from the club, and they're like, oh, we need to hit the gym more. And by the end of the week, they were all in the gym. He made that team great. Because right. let's not forget, without Kobe, really the only difference two years earlier, they lost to Greece. Right? They, like, did. they needed a guy a like that. Totally they did. Team, now, now this is what I, now, this is what I want to mention. I also want to mention too, Tone. I, was, I also, I also want to mention this too, Tone. So we're talking about Kobe Bryant in 2007 when he gets on that crew. This is an 11 year Kobe Bryant getting on the crew with James in year five, Anthony oh, yeah, in year I, five, I'm, I'm Wade in year four. But let's be right? honest. He I mean, Wade in year five. I'm sorry. He's, he's, he, if he doesn't show them, maybe they never develop that. And they just well, think that's not true, Tom. Right. That's not you true. Know. And the reason, why that's not, the reason why that's not true is because that's how they got together. Jerry Colangelo, when he got that crew together, I need what they're doing in Europe. I need to make a national team. Us just throwing guys together and putting yeah. guys on a crew, this is not going to work anymore. We, not, we need to develop a national team. And in the process right. of developing a national team, we need to keep these dudes together. So and I need a commitment from you guys. And they got them together. They were together for two years and still lost to Greece Facts. in the semifinal. Facts. It right. was Kobe that got them. And just hold on. And that same year, right. that same year that Kobe's on the team, yep. what were they doing? Were they going to bed and waking up early and working out? No, they were going to tryst until five o'clock in the morning, like you and I would do, instead of getting up at five thirty. He, in the did, morning. he, he yeah. did bring that. So what yes, I'm saying, he, did. he brought that work ethic that they didn't have, and I think that's part of the reason those guys got better than they should have been. And he and he, 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 he is it fair to say that he also benefited from being with them too? Is that 100%. fair? It right. opened because up. I, I, I agree with that. I agreed with that. That was the first thing I said. Right, because I don't want to make it sound like he just walked in the door and that we're immediately. No, there were some changes that needed to be made. No question about that. However. They were building that team before he got on the crew. Now, when he gets on the crew, he absolutely makes them better. There's no way that that's I'm going to sit here. That's no way that I'm going to sit here. lost in the history of USA basketball. You in here capping for them dudes, bro. Cut it out. Dean Bryan walked in. It was the difference. Everybody on that team admitted it. They admitted he was the leader. He was the man. He was the myth. He was the legend. They admitted it. The, the dudes that was there. So who I'm going to listen to? Chill town on here, cap, 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 cap. Or oh, I'm gonna listen to the dudes that was out there, strap, 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 strapped up on the court. 
I'm going to listen to those dudes. You know why, Chill Town? Because those dudes was out there, and they saw every single day what Kobe Bryant brought to the table. And you know something else, Fluent? You're right, because guess what? Before then, who knows what LeBron would have been? Because LeBron had the mentality, like Larry Bird said, if you want to win, 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 and that's exactly what he said, you go play with Kobe. If you want to have fun, like I did with Bill Wolf, you go play with LeBron James. He didn't say have fun and win until after LeBron James went and teamed up with Kobe. I think, was- I think we undervalue. I think we undervalue. Way too much. I think he we undervalue the generation of Thank work you. ethic that Kobe inspired. Thank you. And I, 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 I think we undervalue that. I think we LeBron undervalue that. playing too much, playing in practice all the time, laughing and joking. What, what was Kobe Bryant on every day, Fluent? Dead serious. Every day coming practice, square business. Bro, LeBron James, you can tell they learned that. And, bro, it's not bad to say that because LeBron – I'm not saying that 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 was bad. I'm not saying that at all. Not saying that at all. Right. And and, 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 and Bron to Right. And and it's not a coincidence ticket that the next year Kobe Bryant wins the league MVP when he gets with them dudes. It's not like it's a situation where he was doing that before he got on that crew. Just as much as they needed him, he needed them too. Uh, So it's not a one-way street. That's not a good way. It was, it was, but it, it was more. It was more one way though. It was I, I think it was more. It was. It was a two way street, but there was, was two lanes on, one on the other. <laughs> it was definitely more than one way. All right. <laughs> anyway, I just, I just said this real quick, Ron. Go real ahead, quick. Go ahead, talk I think the talk one thing that people just forget, like bro, oh, oh, people like don't bring up LeBron's name in the 04 Olympics, like bro. He played like ten minutes a game. He had the third. He had the third least minutes. He had the third least minutes, Tom. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying you. I just. I just hear. No, third. Third. He he played the third least minutes. Wade played the second least minutes. Carmelo Anthony played the least minutes on that crew. The the real problem with that team, people don't want to say it, was was Iverson and Stephon Marbury. Those are the two. Biggest problem. Shot at Duncan was on there too, and he should have like did his thing. But I, I, I think the biggest issue was they threw a bunch of young dudes together with a bunch of old dudes and let them stay separate, and it was bad coaching. And you can say you can you can say you can say it as well because I don't I don't yeah I was gonna say Larry Brown. I don't think he did you can't just throw talent. Either. That's why I say these super teams are a joke. That's why I don't even call them super teams. You can't just throw talented people together. For and sure. take it doesn't but work like that. I've, I've, after I got done with the witch call, it I watched um, so as much oh four Olympics. It's kind of hard to find, but I try to watch them, mm-hmm. and I was like disappointed watching Iris. And I was you like, want me to send you the VHS tapes? I got them. That was a disjointed <laughs> unit. I, I, that, I, I can't even remember most of it, Loke. To be honest with you, that, was, that unit they were just out there. I mean, you got Richard literally. Jefferson, that's what it felt like. As, yeah. as, as big of a Richard Jefferson fan I am, he's playing in front of Carmelo Anthony. He's playing in front of James. Yeah. These are the guys that are that are on that he team. Was putting up big numbers at that time too. You got to yes, he was. Numbers. Yes, he, he was. was. Like twenty something, right? Yeah, which is why which is why we can't look at which is why we can't look at guys like James and Anthony and Wade because they were kids and they no, just I'm, got on that crew. I'm not saying that. Only thing I'm saying to you is, dog, is that if you look at LeBron James' career from that point, like Fluent said, on, bro, LeBron James took that workout stuff serious. That helped him last as long as he's last. Because now you see LeBron James getting up early in the morning, posting the videos. He wasn't doing that before then like that. He wasn't. He was he he was a hard worker, but he wasn't on demon time working like Kobe was. Bro, it was two dudes in the league. I think if we're being like, like, if we're being like I think if we're being like 100 and just like putting all our other shit to the side, that might be the moment where LeBron became like truly great because if LeBron doesn't work, he's, he's good. He's not this guy. He's not in that goat conversation. Of course you Him, see that though. Tom. Right? No, no question about that. He yeah. sees that. Dude like, I, that. It's kind of like, it's, it's that. similar. It's similar to what Jordan did with Scottie Pippen. Like he got the goods, right. but he didn't have that right. other thing. And I'm, I'm going to put that other thing in him. And that's basically what Bryant did. Good he exactly. got that. That's he's good, got that. Good. He's got that. He's got, he's got the goods, but that's that good one perfect. thing he doesn't have, I'm going to put it in him. And, and yeah. Bryant brought that. And Mike Paul. did the same for Kobe. Yeah. It's a, it's oh, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for a lineage. Sure. Just for sure. It's a lineage, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get to these super chats. You guys strap on your seatbelts and stay prepared because our next topic, we're going to talk oh, about what's man. going on in Northern California oh, man. with the ridiculous. defending oh, champions. Yeah, it's damn, 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 ticket. Damn, damn you, ticket. All right. I hey, told hey, you, hey, y'all, damn y'all, you, y'all, ticket. Y'all, Y'all, let me get these off, all right? And, and if it's a question directed towards any of you guys specifically, go ahead and respond. Other than that, let me run through these right quick. Yep. T Street said, Ticket, didn't you pick Memphis to come out the West? Now, only the Clippers can beat the Lakers. Last year, T.I. ain't from the streets. Last year. Focus, man. <laughs> Cloudy Bellanio. He said, it's funny how Ticket will spend all his time trashing on player movement and talking about how the old generation was better, even though 
it's the same generation that fought for player movement. That's a lie. Mm. I don't do that. I play. I bash on player mentality. Mentality is different because listen, a, a coach, a GM, and them dudes can put the team together. But guess what? Them dudes back then, their mentality was different. And I only see a couple of guys like that now. And one of them is the Greek freak, honestly, Teddy Kumpo. And that's a dude who says, look, man, I want all mine the hard way, baby. I want to work for mine. So when I get it, I enjoy it. I feel like I really achieved it. I really went through everything to get it. That's why when Giannis won a chip, everybody felt that. It felt better than when you just go to a super team, build it up, and win. Because you know, LeBron just came out the other day and said he never felt like he was fully like in Miami and a Miami guy. You know why? Because he really wished he would have stayed in Cleveland and pushed. He never wanted to leave Cleveland. He did. So you think think they ever wanted to leave? You think Dame's going to be happy retiring in Portland with no chips? Yes. You know why? Because he knows he's a cheap system. I don't think he's going to be happy. You know why? why? Oh, well, he might be. Ask ask Ron. No one wants to live in Portland. Hey, y'all better come up here. I I, I just got here and I don't know if I'm leaving again. (laughs) All right, y'all. Love Uh, Portland, by the way. Man, crazy city. Yeah, right. check out Buster's Grill, baby. Check out Buster's Grill, best brisket in or- Oregon. Next. <laughs> CJ Vincent with the super chat. He said, let Vic play. They are putting too much on him. If he gets Odin, they are going to trash him and the future. No, we're not. We're not going to. I'm not going to. got hurt. That, I'm not going to trash him because he got hurt. <laughs> the African sci-fi scholar with the this super dude so thing. corny this dude is super corny i'm so <laughs> sick of him yo i am this dude is corny <laughs> <laughs> he support me <laughs> he just says he's just quick <laughs> corny this dude is he's super corny anyone anyone that can make anyone that can make chill make that face i he's like so corny I like, man i like this dude <laughs> the sci-fi scholar said victor is giving the broad dance diarrhea a new king in the north on the way hashtag over damn Leaf Diggy with the super chat. He said, "Did Kawhi win a title? Didn't Kawhi win a title on a bad ankle? Which one? I guess what twenty nineteen in, in Toronto. Yeah, he had a, he had a bad wheel. Yes, he did. Yeah, he had a bad wheel in Toronto. No doubt. I, guess, I mean, okay. He's lucky he had Siakam then. I guess. <laughs> Alex oh, Ruiz man. with the super chat. He said, "Fluent. Just curious. You said tall and lanky players don't work out. Who hasn't worked out? Poku is who I can think of. What?" <laughs> There's plenty of them. What? There's, there's go. Yeah, go go get on. Porzingis. That. Go look with that Google machine. It Sean Bradley. Hey, hold on. Hello, yeah, Dragon Bender. Yeah, Dragon Bender. Yeah, what's? Lo, you say Porzingis, but here's the one thing they'll get you with. Porzingis has done more than what they thought he'd do. He'd average twenty and ten almost every year. That's crazy. No, he didn't. Every year? Almost every single year, he's averaging like almost twenty and ten rebounds. Yeah, when he was at when, when he when he was with the I think when he was with the Knicks when he was with the Knicks he was like twenty and eight when he was like twenty and eight well, he was even damn near twenty and ten last year yeah, when, he, when he was with the Knicks before he tore his knee up he was like twenty and eight he's never got he's 10, person, just go Google it because the thing is you probably don't even know their names that's why you don't realize it you just see mm-hmm. the ones that made it there's more that didn't go ahead next. there's a lot more that did Trail buckets with the super chat he said Kobe doesn't have the numbers to support him being top four the what. I, it, it's a, Ron couldn't even finish the sentence. Come on, there, there, was, there was a whole number sentence. He, he said, however, pure talent, Kobe is unquestioned or unquestionably top five all time. I can get with that logic. In terms of a talent <laughs> standpoint, I, I can definitely get with that. No doubt. Nah, I can get with it with numbers, too. I'm I can say he got the numbers. What? He <laughs> doesn't have the numbers. He, he, yeah, he yeah. definitely has the numbers. I'm mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, that's nasty. He's got, the, he's got mm-hmm. everything. Let's be real. Cameron M said, honestly, how much ticket bashes LeBron? I'm surprised he's even in his top 10. Blaming Braun in 04 as a rookie while Prime Duncan is on the team. Okay. I don't care who you – bro, listen, let me tell you something. When you get to the finals, it's the two best teams playing each other. It ain't no excuses. If you was good it's enough not to the two there, best teams. If you was good enough – listen, if it's you're good enough to get – bro, it is – no, it's you not. had to have, hold on, come on, come on, come on. The, you had the, to the have played this game. Make that you had to have played this game to understand. Right. When you go through that many series and win seven game or five game series, and you're winning all those series to get to those are the two best teams most of the time. Someone, so someone, the someone keeps telling me that's someone, one of the that's one of the Mar, times where it was Someone keeps telling me when there's conferences, it doesn't work. Someone keeps telling me when you get swept, it means you're not even close. So Correct. if you're good enough to get to the finals, you should be good enough to win a game. Thanks. 
I think most teams still have a win the game. But when Golden State played the Rockets in the West Conference Finals, hold on, hold on, Tiki, go ahead, Morris. You don't play the two best teams. I'm coming right back to you, Tiki. Say that. Say it again, Morris. There's an Eastern Conference and a Western Conference. If the best teams are all in the West, you can play the best team in your conference, and the worst team is in the finals. For example. For, you said the two best teams are the two teams in the finals. For example, the 2018 Cavs are worse than the 2018 Rockets. The 2018 Rockets didn't make the finals because no the best team no is way, in their Mars. conference. No way, Mars. It's in their conference. That's in fact, it's, it's interesting you mentioned that, Mars. Because I, hold, hold on for a second, team. Tom. Because I got it. Mars, I'm glad you brought that up. Because I agree. That, that, that one series, I can't believe that I was actually rooting for the Houston Rockets in 2018. Because I looked at Cleveland, I was like, they can beat them. I didn't think that they could beat the Warriors, but I absolutely believe that they could beat the Rockets because I know who James Harden was. I was looking at James Harden the whole time, and I'm like, I know who he is. And it was proven when he did what he did in the playoffs. So there was no question in my mind looking at that Rockets team going, I'm 100% confident that they could beat them. Add that to the fact. Why were you doing for the Rockets? You wanted Cleveland to win that year? I thought that they could beat Houston. I did. So I you did. wanted to win? I, yes, I did think that they could beat okay. Houston. I, I saw them against Golden State. I didn't. I didn't think. I thought that was a bad matchup. I, I didn't think that they think could beat. Convincingly, Golden. the 2018 Rockets are better than the 2018. Convincingly, Cavs. no. Yes, the 2018 mm. Rockets are better than the 2018 Cavs. Bro, when has James Harden ever came through in the clutch? Well, had he made the had he made the it final? Would, it wouldn't need to go down to the clutch because no, 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 the Rockets saying, are that much better than the Cavs. Moment, they are a I better team. I was. I also think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sacramento King, the Sacramento King, the Sacramento King, yeah, the early the San Antonio Spurs, they're yes. better than the 76ers, Thank they you. were better than the Pacers, they were better than the New Jersey Nets. On Those paper, teams in the east, on, on paper, paper that they were in the west, Listen, on paper, they were better. Bro, the two, exactly. I'm saying, when the best, I said the two the best, best teams, teams in the conference, I'm talking about the best teams in the east, the best team in the west. Those were the two best teams that played in the NBA finals, barring injury along the way. You're normally going to get the two best teams in each conference. In the finals, Bar yes, that's a fact. Two so best teams in each saying. conference, so that, but not the two best teams on, in the hold NBA. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And here's the proof right here, Mars. So you can take that little computer geek nerd stuff and throw it out the window. You had to watch this game, baby, to understand it. And you wet behind the ears. Yeah, you got okay. the breast smelling like Similac, like Stephen A. Say. So I'm gonna get you right. Get to, now. Get to the point, check ticket. It. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. All of this is unnecessary, yeah. but okay. Check Very this unnecessary. Out, Mars. <laughs> check this out, Mars. Once again, game three, game four. None of those games. Game three, game four. One point game. Three point game. If LeBron James plays normal, they win those two games at home in the NBA Finals. So, and that makes the series two two. Plus, they had a chance to win Game One. Every one of those games they had a chance to win. It's just that LeBron James didn't play normal. And what that's series, why what I, series are you talking about? He's talking about the 07 the finals. The Spurs. But to, but, but oh, to, yeah, but to, I agree. I think he he could have done better in that series. I, no, no, no. I, I wasn't saying, talking no, about the 2007 so I, Spurs. No, so what I'm saying to you is, is you said. Oh well, the, the, they was overmatched. Uh, the dude, no, not you. The dude I in said twenty eighteen. No, no, that's no, what I said. I never said twenty eighteen. The dude in the super oh, chat okay. asked me about that series where LeBron James was a rookie and he lost. I mean, not a rookie, but he was a first year in the finals. And I told him, bro, if you, if then the two teams that get to the finals, bro, it's time to dance. It ain't no excuses. We never made any excuses for any other team in the finals, bro. Never. When because Magic the gap, rookie, because the gap in talent has never been that wide. What it wasn't saying? wide. LeBron and the two was wide. Bro, listen, was even when LeBron James played KD and them in the finals and they got swept with Golden State, the gap wasn't that wide. You know why? Because LeBron James was that great. Let's be honest. They didn't get blown off the court every game. Ticket, all ticket, those games ticket, was ticket, 10 hold, all ticket, hold, on, hold on for a second. Just which, so which you know. Are we, are we, what? We're, yeah, about, we're, we're, jump, we're jumping about, amongst finals. That's, that's what we're doing. Years, that's that's what we're doing. So, number one, Ticket, just so you know, James, he gets off that 2018 crew. The next year, the Cavs are at the bottom of the Eastern Conference. They're the worst uh, okay. team. They're, 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 they're the worst team in the league. That's number one. That's number one. Don't be a dirty deacon and tell half the truth. That's number one. Don't be a dirty deacon and tell half the truth. Right, I'm not. I am. The truth is, Which, when LeBron James, James is left different. the team, hold on. Yeah. When he left the team, half of that team left too. It wasn't the same team the next year. Half of them players left. And that team was built around LeBron James. So Correct. tell the truth. Y'all act like LeBron left. And then the same team was still there. And J.R. Smith like, was gone. Oh, J.R. Smith, Smith was still there. But half then he ended up. the players were still gone. J.R. Smith was still there, but then he was gone, right? He was gone for six games. He, well, he, he, played 11, he played 11 games. Yeah, I think 12. Yeah, yeah, I, I, think he, he, I think he played 12, 12 or something, okay, 12, something like that. Yeah, some, something like that. Tristan Thompson was still there, right? Kevin Love was still there. 
Uh, let's see. Jalen Nadova was played half the season. He was hurt. Forty three games. Jalen was still there. Nadova was still there. Jalen Nadova was still there. Played thirty six games. But we still get. We still getting off the point. The point is that those guys were those. Those guys were still there though. Yeah, but hold on. But there's there's nine guys. There's like eight or nine guys who left, and the ones that stayed only played half the season. So of course they're gonna have a bad record. They were tanking. They they were meant to lose a bunch of games. So you can't say he left and then they sucked. Well, of course they sucked. Five, six guys left, and the other guys played half a season. And the, so and you the can't best. Use you can't use that. You can't. You can use something else. You can't use that. Fine. Look, right, at, so at, the, at the end of the day, the, the two, Go the ahead, two low, best, and we got to move. Now, yeah, the two, the two seven, best teams. Seven, I'm with you because he, the only reason they were even in the finals because Booby Gibson scores 31. They, they weren't that good enough team to be in the finals, they let's be not. honest. And then, and then their number two, I'm going to forget who it is, Larry Hughes, didn't play or was hurt. I forget if who it was his number two. Wasn't there. So, yeah, 07, they had no shot against the Spurs. I'm, I'm with leaves, that. I'm with hey, that. Hold on, but fluent. No he time. leaves the second time after they went to the NBA finals again. He leaves four years later. They're right back in contention. What is this dude talking about? Who? What? Uh, Chill. What are you talking Run. about? Run. Next. <laughs> yeah, please, man. That's the button I need. Next. Ding bong. Face. All right, y'all. Jehovah 17 says, stop the cap. They could have had KG in one. They just didn't take it serious. At most, they, they would lose one quarter. Kobe just changed the mentality at most. Wait, what? Uh-huh. I don't isn't know. Under, isn't everyone was, isn't oh, everyone was debating? I'm, I'm confused. He said he's saying instead of Kobe, if that Olympic team added KG, they would have been fine. That's um, I mean, but it's still the mentality argument. That we, yeah, it's still the mentality we arguing. So I don't know. All right, y'all. Last super chat before we go ahead and get into this Draymond saga. Uh, that one essential barber. He said it's a shame Kobe didn't have more influence on LeBron in the earlier stages of his career. Really think. The weird losses he took in 11 and 14, at least. They was at war, bro. When you at war, you ain't finna have that. LeBron wasn't trying to chop it up with Kobe then, and Kobe wasn't trying to chop it up with LeBron. Mike chopped it up with Kobe a little bit because they really wasn't going to war. Mike was on his way out. Kobe was on his way in. But LeBron and Kobe, they was right there, like, at war still. Like, bro, at war time, and LeBron ain't trying to hear from Kobe. How was, how was 2014 a weird loss? The Spurs loss? were just a better team. Yeah, no, the Spurs. He said 2011. He said 2011. No, he said 2011. 2011. No, no, 2011. I, I can understand that. Yeah, 2011. 2014. 2014. The Spurs is a better team, and he played fine in that series. He was, he was. Yeah, you're right. I think he went 28, 8, and 9 in that series. Yeah, he was he was fine in that series. It was just that, like, he, the team was just better. It was just yep. a better team. All right, y'all, once again, I want you to bear with me if I don't get around to your super chat. I apologize. I will put it on the screen if I don't read it. Uh, keep sending them in, and we'll keep getting getting around to them. All right. Uh, this week, it was, it, was, it, was, it was some crazy things that happened at the Golden State Warriors practice facility between, between Draymond Green and Jordan Poole. I'm pretty sure we all seen it. Um, it, it seems that they had an altercation. Um, word on the streets is Dray- Draymond called him a bitch multiple times before eventually Superman punching him and just taking off on him. Um, I blame Ticket. <laughs> with, with all this, we know, we know done, Draymond. We know Draymond watches the show, and Ticket was saying to be a leader, you got to punch someone in the face like Kobe did and MJ did. So what did Draymond do? He took his advice. He went and punched Jordan Poole in the face, and now the Warriors are at risk of crumbling. All because of ticket. Well, no, no, that's not true. I'm going to tell you why that's not true. That's not true because here's the thing. And here's the one thing that even Chill can admit this is so can Mars and so can Lowe. Everybody was saying one thing that played basketball. They weren't asking why he punched them. They asked why the tape got leaked. You know why they asked that question? Even the coach. Because like I told y'all, and y'all didn't want to listen to me. Y'all chastised me. The brothers y'all are. Y'all like my evil brothers. But I, I got love for all y'all. But y'all bad, man. I told you guys, these dudes use those tactics all the time, whether it's punching, slapping, all this stuff. It goes on behind the scenes over a million times when nobody ever talks about it. Nobody knows because it never gets out to the public. Now, this was a situation where, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion I talked to, the Warriors leaked this because they were tired of Draymond Green's foolishness and they wanted everybody to see what Draymond Green was on so that they could lower his price so that Draymond Green would want to either leave or he would have to take a pay cut because they want to pay Poole and Wiggins. That's what happened. 
normal activity. Dudes getting punched in the face, normal. Dudes getting slapped happens all the time. You can ask any NBA. No, we, we we talked about it. it's not just NBA. We you know we at university and, and pro in Europe, you get into fights all the time. Say, say, in, high, in, high, in high school, we got in fights, especially overseas. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Part, that's part of it. First day I was in China, I knew it was real because I walked into practice. Let me tell you something. The coach walked up to a player on my team and just slapped him in his face. Oh, Chinese player. Like, I mean, slapped the hell out of him. I was like, God, dang. this is like my second year, like second or third year overseas. I'm like, what? He just walked up and slapped. That's when I knew it was real like that. And then I kept seeing stuff like this over and over and over from the players. Sometimes the coaches get in the fights with the players. You never hear about this. Because- but remember, But remember what I said to you last week when you said, this is how things are. This is how real leaders are. And I said, you can't do it in this day and age. And this is why, because everybody has a camera. It's going to get leaked. And then that hurts your value as a player, to your no. point. Yeah, that's no, why it's no. harder to do it now than before. That's no, all I was no, no, saying last true. week. Well, listen, yeah. they leaked it because they wanted to expose this fool for all the predatory stuff that he was And doing. how much it's easier is it to leak now that everyone's they got have, it on camera versus no, no, before? No. But no, what I'm saying is they have millions of other tapes like this. Every practice is taped. Every NBA practice is taped. They have millions of other tapes. Of every day, this is normal stuff. I can get any NBA player that I know on here to come tell you every single day all the stuff that goes on. Top players on the team punching out dudes that don't want to play hard, smacking dudes around. This is normal. The problem, I mean, not the problem. The thing is, the problem is, is when it leaks out, which it never really does. The only time you heard it leak out recently was when Bobby Portis, broke Meritage's jaw, and he quit and went back overseas. They had to put that out there and suspend him because the dude just quit, and he was going to put it out there So, because a lawsuit could have came after that. But other than that, bro, sometimes, let me tell you all something, the coaches encourage the dudes to fight. I've had coaches encourage fights because maybe the coach want to put a fire in a dude, and they'll say, hey, let him fight. Or they'll right. bring up the gloves. And oh, yeah, yeah. Or, or, and, 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 that, and that part I get. You're not take that, are you? Toughen up. Sorry, yeah, go ahead, Joe. Go ahead, Joe. So what I'm trying to understand is if they put it out there, why did they even tell us about it? Because they wanted to lower his price. Not only that, what, so him. if that's true, if that's true, then why tell us that, that it's an internal matter? No, they they have to make it seem like they didn't leak it because they want to lower his price. No. Listen, let me and the reason you why this doesn't work, hold Ticket. On, the reason why on, the, Let me say one thing. The Golden State Warrior fans are obsessed with Draymond Green. If the Golden State Warriors make it seem like they don't want to keep Draymond going forward after they just won another chip, you don't know all the stuff they've been dealing with him behind the scenes with. Right. They dealt Correct. with all of it. Hold on. They dealt with all of it because Steph Curry has held this dude back and protected him. When they mm-hmm. wanted to get rid of Draymond, Steph Curry said no. When they didn't want to pay Draymond $100 million, I think he ran KD out. Steph Curry said pay him. All of that stuff Draymond be doing, if you know his teammates, you'll know. He right. been doing all of this stuff. Listen, right. here, here's the difference, though, my brother. So now you come to a point where they're in a problem. They got all these young guys. Curry and KD, I mean, Curry and Clay are getting older. Clay is jacked up now. So now what are you going to do? You're going to pay Draymond Green or are you going to pay Jordan Poole that's coming up and you're going to need him because Clay ain't even played a preseason game yet and still ain't right. And, so and this is the question play. I want everybody to answer. We'll, yeah, yeah, we'll eventually get around saying, to everybody. I got you. Listen, I got you. But sometimes I got to break it down to him in layman's terms. Right. So I'm glad you brought this up, Ticket, because number one, we talked about Draymond Green with Steph and Clay since 2015 when they've been together. They've been in the NBA Finals at minimum. So we'll start the conversation there. Since that they've been together, that's number one. I think Draymond was going through something. Why do I think he was going through something? Because I'm 100% confident that those two have gotten into it before. And I'm sure that it's been worse than that. I'm sure that Jordan Poole has said something worse to Draymond. I'm sure Draymond has said something. I'm sure that Draymond has said something worse to Poole. So the fact that Draymond walks over to him and punches him in the face, I think that it was something completely different. Money, that, man. Jealousy over money, man. It's, yes. It's, it's, yes. It's, it's not. And, and, Poole, I'm going to tell you what I know, not what I heard, what I know. Poole, Draymond Green was calling Poole the B-word multiple times. Poole said, okay, I can be a B, but I'm finna get this 180-something million. So what is it? And then Draymond was – Pissed off already about the money situation. The same thing he was right. with KD. So, right. The same so I, I already know all of that. I already know all of this stuff that you tell us. The telling. same I reason do. why he broached KD when he did in the game. He did that on purpose to run KD away so the Warriors could pay him. You know why? Because if you go watch the interview on all the smoke, Draymond theory. told you a, it wasn't going to keep him. That's a conspiracy. Bob Myers theory. was going to no keep KD. That. So he was pissed off. He he he. 
He earned his goal. He right. his goal, ran KD off, and got his $100 million right after. They kept All him. Right. It wasn't going to well, keep him. Now. Yo, yo, hold, hold up, hold up, Ticket, though. Let, uh, let Chill finish what uh, what he was getting off. Like I was saying, all right? Like I, I, like I was saying, I think Draymond was going through something because I think that those two had gotten into it just like Draymond has gotten into it with other guys in practice in the past. And I'm sure that there were worse things that were said. And in the process of worse things being said, we leave it right here. You might even get, I might even get in your face ticket. You might get in my face. But if I'm swinging on you, I'm swinging on you because something else is going on. I'm not swinging on you because the practice gets heated and I'm going to punch you in your face. No, I'm swinging on you because I got something else going on that's more serious than this. Now, you and me might get into it in practice. We might have some shoving. We might have some pushing. We might have that sort of stuff. But very rarely are we going to swing on guys. The issue that I have, the issue that I have, and I've always had, is that this is an internal matter. This is something that should have stayed in house. This is something that should have not gotten out. And the reason why it's become such a big deal is because it got out. So you and me in practice ticket, and you and me going at it, and then it turns into something physical. And all we do is contract, we, both in contract, right? Years. Both of us in. Let's just say both of us are in contract years, and it just is something we're just pushing each other and. They, somebody gets in the middle of it or whatever, as opposed to you and me in practice, and I end up punching you in your face, and now the whole world see it. Now they gotta handle it differently. Now it's not something that could just ha be handled between I, you and I me. Did the whole world see it? And I'm gonna tell you how the whole world see it. The whole world saw it. I don't think that it was. Again, I don't think that it was something that was leaked through the Golden State Warriors, as opposed to through that videographer, because that was a complete and utter violation of discretion. No I'm doubt about that. I'm going to prove why. The team leaked it. Two reasons. They already lost the investigation. You haven't heard anything else about that investigation. And you probably won't. You know why? Because ain't nobody leaked that damn tape but the Golden State Warriors. You know why? Because every time there's an incident like that that happens in the NBA, the first thing they do is, is go confiscate all the tapes and make sure they're secure from the practice. And the same thing, if the media's in there and there's a fight, they always warn the, the beat writers and the media to don't run with this story or else you won't be able to cover the team no more. Now, you want flies or you want truth? Because I give you the truth. Today, you'll hear the truth by me. What would you do if you was me? I come in here against all odds, so, baby. So, so I, tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. The truth is the Golden State Warriors, they knew as soon as that situation went down, they say, yo, the tapes, we got the tapes. There's only one person got the tapes. Because the media hasn't come in yet. Right. They're still in practice. Right. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They leaked that tape in order to do two things. To show everybody why they didn't going, want to pay Draymond Green the max. That's because that, that logic State doesn't work. Is, that yeah, logic that doesn't work. work. The reason I'm why that logic doesn't work, yes, ticket, is does. no, it doesn't. Yes, the reason does. why that logic doesn't work is because, number one, Draymond Green has two more years left on his deal. They got two choices. I'll I'll, I'll this no. Year. Uh, option after next year. Uh, this option year. Uh, option this after year. The, he's got a player option after this year, which he's not going right. to. Which he's going to. He, he wants a, a full right. match. Extension. That's not the point. He's, gonna he's gonna got two more years left on his deal. No. So they got. So they got. I'm not done. They have got two choices. Choice number one, play out the rest of the contract. Choice number two, trade him. Now he doesn't have much trade value. We all know that he hasn't. He doesn't have much trade value. So with that being said, why are they going to tell us immediately when this jumps off? that we had an incident and it's going to be handled internally. Why are they going to tell us that? Then because turn around. They, th because, they, because they're more smarter than you and they fooled you too. They had to do that to make you think somebody leaked the tape and Draymond. They had to make, make Draymond sense. think. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain something to you real quick. Ron, give me one second. Yeah, go go Ron, ahead and then low. Ron, I need you to tap I'm, me. Hold on, Ron, hold on, Ron, hold on. Go, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, take it. Get it I, off. I'm the GM of the Warriors. I'm tired of Draymond's ish. He's been calling me a B, calling the coach a B, disrespecting all the players on a regular basis. Everybody knows it. That's why nobody moved because everybody was used to Draymond doing his foolishness, not only in front of the camera, but behind the cameras. People are tired of telling Draymond stop, right? So now I got two young guys I got to pay. But here's the problem. It doesn't matter what Draymond does. The Golden State Warriors fan base demands him. And guess what? The Golden State Warriors put themselves in a bad situation when they said we print money and we're willing to go over the max to pay anybody when they first moved into the Chase building. So now you want to chip, you have to stand by that word and pay Draymond the max. They don't want to do it, which is why they got fined for complaining about the salary, the, uh, the cap at the beginning of the season, why they got fined a half a million dollars. Now, let's go back because they complained about that very situation because they didn't want to have to pay all those dues because of the luxury they was going to have to pay. So what do they do? They say, okay, well, this is the only thing we can do. 
Draymond message gave us an opportunity. We leaked the tape. What does the tape immediately do when you got a person punching a player out like that in practice? It kills their value. It's so now, is, guess what? The first time this happened, though. Now, this isn't. You tell me, hold on. You tell me one team in the NBA that's going to walk to Draymond Green outside the Warriors and say, hey, we're going to give you a full max deal right now. Ain't one. So you know what the Warriors going to do? They're going to go like Draymond Green and say, hey, Draymond, you can go out in the free market and see if you can get a max deal. But I guarantee you, you and Rich Paul won't. But we'll keep you and we want you to stay, but at a reduced price. So here's the price. And guess what? You've ruined your reputation over the years. We've taken up for you. We've covered you. We've protected you from all of the shit you did that ain't been released on the camera. This got leaked. But guess what? It got leaked. You got a law firm, but they ain't find out who leaked it. And it That's the point, right? That's the point right there. All the stuff that you've been protecting us from in the past. Why did this get out? It's not like Draymond because is in year four. Because they want to hurt his value. They it's not, but it's not like Draymond Green is in year four and year five and we have to pay him bro, something ridiculous. To, bro, Draymond they, Green is 33 years old. He's got two more years left on this deal. How many more years do you bro, think Draymond they, has they, at this they level? Put their foot in, hold on, my brother. They put their foot in their mouth. They killed themselves because as fluent, he noticed when they went over there to the Chase building, they said if we're winning, we're willing to go over the max to pay all of our players. They're not willing to do that to pay Draymond. They got fined they don't a half have a million to. dollars. They got fined a half a million at the beginning of this season because they complained about the luxury of what it, what it would be. They had to pay like almost five hundred million, I think, in luxury if they pay all those guys. So guess what? Now we're in a dilemma. Clay's not the same. We got to keep pool. Wiggins was he balled out in the NBA Finals. We got to pay Wiggins the max. He won his money. So guess what? Now, that's why they got the talks to Draymond wanting to go to the Lakers. You know why? Because Draymond's already said he wants a max deal. And I've been told y'all this on this channel. Why won't they offer Draymond the max? Because they said it before the season that they didn't want to offer him the max deal. Right? So if, why are they talking about it right now? So now what you do is, okay, now you gave us a reason. So now, watch this. After there's any fight, anybody knows it's a play in the league. I can bring six NBA players up here right now. After any fight, the first thing they do is, cameraman, we got the camera right there. That camera doesn't go anywhere. That footage doesn't go anywhere. That footage is sealed. Nobody can steal that tape because it's one, it's one of those tapes that's doing the practice because the media is not in there. So guess what? Guess what? They would have already had the video, man. Even but if that's true, though, Ticket, you just told us, you just told us that this is an ongoing thing with Draymond. This is not the first time that he's done this. So if that's true, then why are we waiting for now to release tapes or footage of him? Why because haven't we done this in the, the past? The money always follow the money, Lebowski. What, what, what do you mean always follow the money? This is not his. This is not the first time he's been up for a contract. No, oh, it's not the first time he's happened. Hold on. I, I, I don't understand. You, from, I don't, I, you I just need to hear yourself. Love. And what happened the last time he was up for a hundred million dollars, Fluent? What did he do? He ran in KD's face, called him a P, called him a B, told him we don't need you. We're better without you. What happened, Fluent? KD left. Because okay. he got tired of the abuse. Okay, first of all, that Iggy. had nothing to do with Iggy. the Warriors facility. That was in a game, and we I'm, saw that on ESPN. That's why so I'm that's out. not the same Remember thing. Remember, Fluent, Fluent, keep it real. He told Iggy, and that's why I'm out. And guess what happened after that? Draymond got his $100 million and stayed that very summer. KD left. All right. Well, so, okay. Tap, go, tap go, in. Go, go. I, I, no, 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 no. Go, go, go. No, no, low, 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 and, 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 um, uh, Marsh. Yeah, as crazy as it sounds. I low key agree with with Ticket. Thank right you, now. legend. Hey, legend. That's why I rock with you, legend. Hey, legend. Me and you, we go at it like dogs. I can respect that. Cause, cause at the end of the day, like he said, like unless, unless I mean, if it was if it was like video camera footage, like on their phone, then I can understand that. But he right, like they not, but they not, they not gonna let somebody walk out of there with fucking footage. <laughs> that's like they not, they, that's that's not that's not about to happen unless somebody like immediately sent it to TMZ off the ripper. Like they not about to, they just not gonna do that. And and to be quite frank, I think it it all makes sense as well because yeah, like they don't like they're not they're not trying to pay him. Now to be fair though, I don't I don't think that there's that many teams in the NBA that would have given him a max contract regardless if we're gonna keep it a bean. Ain't that many teams in the league that gonna give it to him regardless. Um, but there is one team that I think would, and it, it is the Lakers. The reason why is because out in LA, fucking uh, what's his name, Rob Palinka. Rob Palenka ain't doing nothing but managing egos, and, and, and he, he just sitting there managing really clutch clients, so we're going to keep it a bean. It's a bunch of people out there who keep coming from clutch, who get the money that they, 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 that they want, and they keep just bringing them in over and over and over again. Draymond is also a clutch client, and if there is one team that would put the Warriors in a situation to leverage 
a player like Draymond, even if it is overpaying him in the long haul, it would be the Lakers to take him off that roster. A, B, they also would need somebody like a Draymond moving forward. And C, the Lakers have been making bad decisions for the past five years anyway. So paying Draymond the max contract that he's looking for or anywhere near close to it would make sense as well. Now, I, I think at the end of the day, I think the Warriors, regardless of the pull situation happening or not, I think they would have they would have buckled it and, and met Draymond as close as he could. But at the end of the day, if they wanted they I, I do believe like this is at, at worst, at worst, they benefit from this immensely. At worst, they benefit benefit from this immensely because they know for a fact that yeah, he just he just hurt his um value. But yeah, it like it's just this is mad convenient. Not only that, yeah. like not only that we leaked, but like y'all, y'all don't I don't know who did it. I hey, I don't I don't no know. No other tape like, in the on, history of the no NBA sense. has been leaked, Lo. How is that possible that this tape gets leaked? That's no, that, no, there's been there's been some. Well, we yeah. do, and, and, not, and not only that, we live in a different I will, age. I will say this. I've, sat, I've, sat, I've sat at a practice where they've said this doesn't get out. If and if you, so I have heard that before. So I know that's true. Where if this gets out, you you're not invited back. But that's to the people they know, right? right? So, yeah. So, that, with, that, so with that being said, I mean, we, we, we didn't have we didn't have Latrell Speedwell choking PJ Collis some on tape. We don't have we don't have Hakeem Olajuwon smacking Vernon Maxwell in the face. We don't have that on tape. But but look but look look how but look at how far back you're going though. Like even 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 in today's world, with camera phones being as readily available as they are right now, you would assume though, like we would have seen way more of this. Right. Maybe it'd be one thing this happened like every year or every other year, but like this doesn't this very rarely happens. And the reason why go ahead, go ahead, Lo. I'm sorry. Like, like for example, like the Jimmy Butler situation. It's, it, it was it was theorized that Jimmy Butler knew he was going to do what he did in Minnesota before they got there. Before before he got there, he he brought the ESPN people there, had to sit down with Rachel Nichols after it. He knew everything he was about to do before he did it, and we ain't got that on camera. Everybody was there. People who normally not even in Minnesota was there. So he knew he was going to do, and yet for whatever reason, that's not on camera. So, but this this somehow gets on camera and it gets on camera that quickly. It like the news broke. Chris Haynes knew the news before the actual film broke out, was reporting it, which that was also weird. Why would they even report something like that if again it's going to be done internally? And then the video leaks like like a, a couple of days afterwards. Like all that stuff was like very odd for it yeah, to I, happen I, I, that, I, I'm, I'm like trying that, to make sense like that quickly. So all of the stuff that you're saying, then if that's true, then why tell us that it's an internal matter? Because and then why they do you just... Because they, 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 they just got to... I'm going to say, they just like, have to do it. They have to do that. It just looks like it's bad business to me. It looks like it's really bad business. It is bad business, but it's smart, I got the knife, fool. I'm going to tell you, hey, man, Lowe got the knife over there somewhere. I ain't got it. low had it, and I don't know what happened to it. It just seems like it's bad business Me and Lowe came up. And that was it. That's all I know. It's bad business, but this ain't good. This ain't it's not the first. Hey, wait, 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 but you you want me to think that the Warriors, as much money they've been blowing in the luxury tax, ain't been promising people money under the table this entire time? You don't think they've been doing no no shady business this entire time? You don't think they ain't that? You don't you don't think because we already know they already got KD and Eagle Dollar sitting situation to earn more money in on the back end anyway. So you telling me you don't think there ain't been no shady business going on? And I'm not even making it seem like it's just the Warriors. I think that's a I think that's I'm a sure that, that I'm, I'm, I'm sure yeah. that that's what every NBA the team. Yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm, saying that, yeah. I'm sure that I'm sure that every NBA team has some yeah. shady business going on on some level. But to have this, but to have something like this leaked to the public and crazy. you and you are the and you are the culprit of that. That's terrible business. Wait, hold on, but but who, but, who won't know it? One though? last thing. I mean, chill. One last thing. Watch this. When here's the thing. When David West left that team, he was a guy that kept Draymond Green in check. So you didn't see Draymond Green pulling those stunts with a guy That's like David West on the team. Too. Now watch this. But watch this. But when he leaves, bro, you as a coach, you as a GM. You got a guy that's running ramp shot. I'm going to tell you something, bro. It's a lot of stuff that happened in the NBA that cats get away with in professional basketball if you're winning. When you're winning, sure that covers the Bulls, up, the, the Bulls are winning, winning, that. That yeah. covers up everything. So, but guess, and guess what? Guess what? Since you kept it private, you can't then break the code of the NBA and put it public to use against him. But the situation with Draymond was so overbearing. The Warriors have been so pissed off with him from all the stuff he's done in the games to costing him a championship to the stuff with KD to the stuff he did when he tried to punch out Steve Kerr 
to the stuff that he's done with the oh, GM Steve calling Kerr. him. Did he really do that? Yes. Oh. Him, he tried to knock Steve Kerr out. He, he, tried, he, tried, he, tried, he, tried, he tried to. He tried yes. to. He tried to knock Steve Kerr head off. Yes. In, All in, of this in, stuff. So, so I want to go back because he said it was it's not. So if that's true, what is this dude still doing on the unit? If that's going on. You're right. You're right. Here's the problem. Everyone sees his everyone sees his value on the team and they can't cut him or trade him because then they're the bad guys. Here's the thing, guys, that we forget. If they extend everybody, so if they give Draymond what they want, pool, all these guys, right, In I think it's next year or the year after, their salary with, with the penalties that they'll have to pay for being over is over $500 million. That's not this realistic. is a team. Not. This is a team. The salary cap's 134. They're right. going to be paying over 500 million in salary. That's so how right. do we get Draymond off the green without looking? That, this is what I'm saying. From a business perspective, is actually it. I'm not saying they did it. I'm just saying from a business perspective, it is good because how do you get Draymond off the team without looking like the bad guy who got rid of our heart and soul? Well, he did this. What what else choice do we have? So now world they can transition and still be the good guy. Right right? We don't we don't stand for that type of behavior. He's out. Oh, oh. those warriors. They're such good people. Hey, and, 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 hey Jim, Jim, when you say that, one, one last thing, Ron. Ron, here's the giveaway right here on that tape. And I'm going to tell you something, Fluent. You probably know this, too. If, low, if you've seen some stuff behind the scenes, you probably know this, too. Bro, whenever dudes like that get into a confrontation, especially with one of the young main guys that you need, bro, if that is getting ready to happen, and he, they come like this, somebody steps in. Everybody, 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 everybody steps in. The fact somebody. that the whole team was like this, you know what that tells you? Man, we tired of this shit with this guy, man. Just cat, man. And, and listen, you don't lose trust off a teammate on one situation. This is accumula accumulation of situations with Draymond that he's got away with with his temper, blowing up on people. The same stuff you see in public is three to four times worse in private with them dudes. And they sick of it, man. And, and guess what? The winning and, your, and the play that you put out there with Stephen Clay, it covers it. But guess what? It becomes a limit because when you do that to a kid like Jordan Poole, now you give us an opportunity to not pay you. And what does a billionaire always want to do? Keep money in his pocket. So if I got a chance to not pay you your money as much as you want, now I'm going to leak that, use it against you, have a fake investigation, not find out who did it when we already know. Tell me another tape the last 50 years has came out that, that uh, all these fights has happened. Bro, at least, at least six, seven, eight fights like that happen a year. Six, maybe in an 82-game season? Come on, man. All bro, right, there was, sure. there was a coach who literally walked alongside Draymond and didn't do anything. I was like, bro, what are y'all doing, bro? Like, ain't nobody like step in and say, like, oh, let's chill, let's chill. Come on, like, that's they know he do it all the time. Lo. And they, and that's, and they, saying, they know, and they know it, it's Draymond. Like, it, it, that's what that? I'm saying, Lo. It just seemed like it's something that that looks like something that goes on on the regular, especially between him and Poole. Oh, no, no, no. I, that's I, what, I get, that, that's I get the point that I'm making, regular, which, but, which would explain why they didn't do anything initially. So to see him punch Poole in the face, like, whoa, where'd this come from? And that and that could and that could be true, but what I'm saying is like, for it, it had to have been something like something somebody had to step a, a boundary for him to feel that way, and it had to have been a boundary that everybody else in the room had to know. Like, all right, you, is this is getting way way more heated than it normally is? So let's 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 cut cut it out and show. But even even if you would still intervene, even if it's something normal that you do because you don't want it to escalate that much. But they. All that just looked weird, and how quickly that news was coming out like that. But that's a story that you tell twenty years from now. That's not. That's not nothing I should know on the same weekend that it happened. That's crazy. Yo, Mars, uh, I need you to tap in. Your on team this. is in shambles, Mars. And, and I, yeah, because it's your <laughs> team. But uh, just to put a couple things into, into perspective, keep there, in Mars. mind that uh, this this obviously isn't the first time with Draymond with just public outburst remember obviously he did it with kd uh and don't forget about the 2016 finals when he gets suspended and arguably is the reason why they lose that there's championship. A track record sure there's a yeah, track it, record. It, it, exactly mm -hmm. so mars i want you to give us your perspective on this but i also want you to tap in and let me know if you got to choose between the two because it's obviously um animosity with uh jordan Poole. they said that they haven't spoken since the incident if you have to choose between the two as a GM, what would you do? Um, first of all, the reason I have had nothing to say is because I don't care who leaked the video. I don't care the reasons behind the leaking of the video. That That's what happens. I don't really care. So if the Warriors leaked it, they leaked it. If someone else leaked it, they leaked it. Now we deal with the situation at hand, which is that the video has been leaked. You move on from that. I don't care about how it happened. Then I, you don't, I don't think... Punching a teammate is a smart thing to do, especially in a 
age where there's videos everywhere. So that's just bad decision making, in my opinion. Um, but if I'm picking between Jordan Poole and Draymond, I said on on Players Choice the other day, I'm I'm picking Draymond Green, and that's because yes, wow, this team this team is a championship unit. Pay pay Draymond, attention to this because I already Draymond, know where you're going with this. Go ahead, go ahead. Dray, Draymond oh. Green is much more valuable to our short term success of a goal of winning a championship, which is a viable viable goal for us. We mm-hmm. don't win a championship without Draymond Green. Jordan Poole is for the long term, is for the future, past Steph Curry, past Clay Thompson, past Draymond Green. And then that's me putting expectations on a future of a core of Jordan Poole, Jonathan Kaminga, James Wiseman, maybe Andrew Wiggins, whatever. And that's me hoping that they can become a championship unit. And I'm going to dismantle a unit that I already know is a championship contender for one that could potentially be one. I'm not doing that. I don't think that's a smart decision. I compared it to the um, Lakers going after Anthony Davis. It's a similar thing. You blow up a young core you have that could grow into something good, but you get you go and get rid of that for something that is going to guarantee you something good, which is LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram, that's a good young core. They could become a championship contender. They could grow, but Anthony Davis is a more of a sure fire, and that's the same thing. Same way I see Draymond Green. Draymond Green with Steph Curry, with Klay Thompson, with Steve Kerr. When they've played every game of a series, we haven't lost. And I don't think you break that up for Jordan Poole, who isn't a guarantee by any means. Not only so that, Mars, not, not, only, not, not only that, Mars, and to add to, and to, add to your point, Mars, not, not only that, and to add to your point, Mars, so if we put the two of those guys, both Draymond Green and Jordan Poole, what am I what getting am I back? Getting back? I'm getting more back for Jordan Poole today 100%. than I'm getting mm-hmm. back for Draymond Green. If I put Jordan Poole on the market, I'm getting a haul for him, especially if we're back. talking about in the future, as opposed to Draymond Green. If I put him on the market, I'm not getting nearly as much back for him as I would get for Dray- as I would get for Jordan Poole. So if I'm talking about value and value only, absolutely I'm going with that. You hold on. So you would keep Dr- you would keep Draymond Green on the team. I understand mm-hmm. what we're talking about here, yeah. Come so on, you man. and and, 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 the, and, and the reason and, and the understand the future for one or two years, I'd give up. I'd give up ten years of future for one championship. Well, not only that, think about what you're going to get back for Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole is a guy that if I if I put him on the market, I'm probably going to get some good young players. I'm probably going to get a one, maybe two ones for him. I'm sure I'm going to get something like that. So with that being said, if I put Draymond Green on the market, what am I going to get for Draymond Green? Am I going to get a two? Maybe a, I, I, I doubt very seriously I'm going to get a one. Not only that, and not only that, not only am I not going to get a one, am I going to get from Draymond? Am I going to get somebody on the crew that's going to help us win immediately? That's going to do what Draymond. Hold on, hold on, you know, you, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You, guys, you guys, are you guys are thinking it from a a fan perspective and from a basketball on court perspective. What you're forgetting, what you're going to get from getting rid of Draymond Green is $50 million. His $25 million salary plus it's dollar for dollar in luxury tax. There's 50 million reasons to get rid of Draymond Green. That's the thing you're not putting into, into, the, into your mix. Right. That's the most important thing. I think they the would, business, I, I the business think, aspect of it, have, the business aspect of it, sure, no doubt. I'm sorry. I, I think, I think they would have paid. I think it would not, not paid in, in full. I think Draymond would have came with his max number, and I think they would have came close anyway. And they, I think, they, I think they would have paid him. No, let think, me ask you this question: When you talk about a max number, how many years are we talking about with Draymond Green for a for for just years? Let, 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 let's not, let's not even talk about, let's not even talk about uh, the, the contract in terms of value. Let's just talk about years. How many sure. years? I don't think the Warriors are going that far. I don't. I do not think that the Warriors going that. But that, but that, but that's that's what I think. That's what Draymond would want, though. But that's no, what he wants. I don't think they're going four years, though. I Yo, don't. hold on, fluent. I mean, chill. You still, y'all still think that Drake after what you saw this past year, you still would roll with a hundred million dollar man, Draymond Green. We keep Draymond, was an- Draymond was anchoring the defense to. Dray- no, 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 I still, no, no, I still think Draymond no, 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 is a much no, 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 better no, no, player no, no, than everyone on that team. When they set his ass on the bench, the Golden State Warriors went on a run and got better in the NBA Finals. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's one. That's, 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 that's one. That's, 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 that's one. That's one. That's one. Hold on, hold on. We only got one mic. We only got one mic. Go ahead, Low. It's on you, Low. It was that was just one series. That's not the depiction of who Draymond was, and also that was against a team that had pieces that best that are best suited to also defend Draymond and flexible enough to close out and do what they need to do. Also, a very well coached defensive team. If they if they lose Draymond, bro, second, bro, second, like you, players like Jokic, Anthony Davis, if they face Embiid or Giannis, bro, they, they, there's no answer to those them at all, okay. bro. 
So, so let me ask you. So what's he asking for, Mars? How much is he asking for? Um, I don't know. What he's, I don't know. He's forty is the fifty. Some, a year? I'm assuming it's something like the 30, 35 range. I'm assuming. So about thirty-five million per year. So, like so you guys, you own you own a business, and knowing that you'd pay dollar for dollar luxury tax, you're gonna pay Draymond seventy million dollars, or get rid of him and figure it out. I'll, Just think I'll, about I'll it because this I'll is the Draymond. business. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm None paying. of you are paying him $70 million because that's what I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm paying. You are, you're paying him $70 million? Yes. I'm so trusting. No, trust, hey, 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 tell me. If we're going to pay the him money, $70 the money million, I made, the money I made from million, success. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do the that. The money I make from success. Hey, look, you think they're going to win a chip this year? You think the Warriors going to win a chip this year with Draymond? I think they're the second best team, so I don't know. Where, I, I, I think you guys don't realize. I think, I think, I think, I think it's a guarantee. We can bet five thousand right now live. On I think the I think five thousand right now that the Golden State Warriors don't repeat with Draymond. Wait, 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 I, I, I I agree. I, I I agree. They don't repeat, but I think they're in a way better situation to repeat with Draymond rather than him off the team. A way better. A way better. All right, I need to hear the Warriors aficionado. Go ahead. Sorry, Mars. I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna say we're gonna repeat because there's too many factors that go into winning a championship. Everyone could get hurt. Steph could fall off a cliff. Clay Thompson could not be Clay Thompson again. Like, there's too many yeah. factors. Nice. I think. I think we have a best. I think we have the best opportunity to repeat with Draymond Green as opposed to not with Draymond Green. Because I thought but he was asking I've for like two year hundred million. No, nah, yeah, he's, not eligible. he's not eligible. No, he's not eligible for that. Okay. But I think, I think, I think no, no, the, uh, ticket. They're not doing that. We know that they're not doing that. Draymond, we know that for a fact. Well, what's he eligible for? I guess what because he said max. Forget whether they do it or not. Max. So what is his max? But I don't. But I don't think they're going to. They, they're going to get close to the number, but they're not going to give him. What's a max. The, what is the hey, max low, eligible low, for though? No, I don't think they come in close to 166. I think they no, come they're not 120. Mars, you were making a point. Mars, before we got cut off, Mars, you were making a point. I'm sorry if I cut you off. Um, Draymond Green is uh, eligible for like one sixty five or something. Okay, but, so that's um, forty million, which means eighty. I don't. I just the you, Warriors I, are not going that high. I, 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 I don't think. No, I don't think we're million. not going to go that high. But Draymond yeah. Green is obviously going to ask for the max. We're going to offer him something lower. That's our negotiation. Of course, you don't you don't okay. lose your initial offer. Hold on, you said he's not going to offer ask for the max. No, he's, he's going, going to ask for the max, but he, max he's going no. into that negotiation knowing he's not expecting so, them hold, to agree hold to. Hold on, so how much you think that? How much you think that they, he would get? Uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we gave him three years, seventy-five, twenty-five. I was million. thinking ninety, Mars. I was thinking three years, ninety million. That wouldn't oh, surprise me. That's what I was thinking. That wouldn't surprise me. I think. I think that's insane. Yeah, that's insane, though. I, I, well, I, 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 I tell you what, though, if you don't think he's worth that much, that's fine. But I think Golden State are very willing to pay. Here's the thing, though, Tone. I think that that's thank you money more than anything. Because when you think about what Draymond has brought to that unit and he was there since they were trash and now all of a sudden he's on the crew and every year that he's on the crew and he's healthy and Clay's healthy and Steph is healthy, they're in the NBA championship. I think that that would be thank you money more than anything. I think if we all agree that the Warriors possibly allow this tape to get leaked, then it's either to get rid of him or to really bring his value down. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You know, I run a business. They ain't no chance in hell they want to go 500 million in salary. No, no wait, no way. No way they're doing that. No way they're, no way they're doing that. They do no way. And they're, no not way. Cut, and they're not cutting Wiggins and they're not cutting Pool. Pool's going to get paid. I, I, yeah, I think, I think you're undervaluing Pool. Pool's getting paid perspective. next week. Watch. They about to, they about to cut Pool. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> ticket, like, tick, and Ticket, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you talked about Pool because when you talk about a contract, what do you think his number is? I think his number is what it is, 188 million. The same right now. I don't think. I, I think. I think his on, number is. Oh, hold on, hold on. He's a. He's the what? The third or the, you know he's the fourth option in the Warriors. Averaging 16 is the fourth option. And Bro, don't don't forget, forget what he shoots. Shoot. Don't forget how he shoots. Right. And so don't forget yeah. how good how efficient he, he is as a shooter. Floor, get to the cup. Shoot yep. the three. Bro, yep. listen. If you're looking at all them other dudes, that's and he came out the G League doing this, bro. But right. you look at all them other dudes. The Ingrams, all them other dudes that's getting them extensions, yeah. he's right there as far as number wise. But he was the fourth option on a championship team, averaging sixteen, bro. You got to now. Pay him. I'm I'm glad you mentioned that ticket because when I look at Jordan Poole, are we leaving out the fact that he's on a championship team? So when I think about him, I'm looking at Jordan Poole, and I think his number is what Tyler Hero's number is. That's the number that I'm looking at with him. I don't think that they go to 160. No, no. Or, but, here's or, a, I, on, but here's a no. But here's the thing: he's better than Tyler Hero, and everybody knows that. 
He's got. Mm. He can do more than Tyler Hero. He's a he's a three level player. Is he? Is, is he though? Is he? Yeah, yeah, I'm asking. They're, 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 they're in the same tier. That's the what rack. I'm thinking, Mars. Well, I'm thinking that. That's rack. why I said that they three and hit the mid range. And so can and so can and so can Tyler Hero. He does the same thoughts. He does the same thing. Tyler Hero is not the same level. He shoots the. Not only does he shoot the long. Not only does he shoot the long ball. That's all he do better. No, he does. Uh. Not only does he shoot the long ball. Tyler Hero is actually a really good one on one player. And he's on a team, Tyler Hero is on a team where he doesn't have to really do much defensively. All he has to do is be solid. Well, that's the same thing going on with Jordan Poole. When I think about Jordan Poole on the unit that he's on, I think that he looks completely different in Toronto. I don't think he looks the same as he does in New Orleans. I don't think he looks like the, like he looks in Washington. I think he looks completely different. And the, question, and, and the question that I that I wanted to ask you when we talk about Jordan Poole on the high end, let's, let, let's, let's look at Jordan Poole on the high end. Is he Bradley Beal good? No, I'm saying no, no. I'm saying he can. He he'll be able to put up those type of Maybe. numbers in the next 100. three years. I'm, well, I'm saying, that, you know, that, listen, listen, listen. That's what I'm talking about. So, so, so Jordan Poole is going into year four. Let's right. just say Jordan Poole at at his apex. Let's say year seven. Is he Bradley Beal good? I got him at 27, 28 points per game at his max. Oh, that means he's a top ten player. Bro, the dude is a bucket. The dude is a bucket. Oh, he's I a go, bucket. I go him at I go him at CJ McCollum. Bro, he's a I, hell no. He's a, C, 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 a, C, C, CJ, CJ, and Tyrese Maxey. That's a level. Man, that, that's, that's, those were the Bro, listen, listen, listen. twenty-seven a game for for that's that. That's, so we talking, but CJ's on. not bad though. Nasty. No, he's not. CJ's, CJ's, all, CJ's, a, CJ's a good player. CJ's yeah, a, a nineteen twenty point per game guy. Jordan Poole way above that. Jordan Poole nasty handle, shoot the three, mid range, take you off the dribble, get to the get to the rack. Finish with both hands at the rack. Besides, besides, besides finishing at the rim, you just described CJ. 23 to 25. Besides, besides finishing 20, at the rim. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying, no, no. I'm saying 20, 27, 28 max is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I think he can do that two years in his career, 27, okay. 28, okay. on a team where he's maybe the, the, the second guy. But if he goes to second the guy, averaging 28. So he's, so he's, that's an all-in-league player. In this league, hold on. In this in this league, in this league, bro, That the way they're playing now, Bro, the way he shoots the ball, yeah. the way they're playing the up tempo style, yeah. I can, especially with the Warriors, I can see that once Clay and Steph start to taper off, he's gonna get a lot of shots, bro. Hmm. Okay. Jim Wiggins, Wiseman, that's the future. He's gonna get a lot of shots. He's gonna be the number one option. Oh. That you can breathe like that. That, that team you does like that. Off. You can breathe like that. Who's gonna be the number one option over him? Out of all that, those young guys. That, that that team that team is that not winning team, the championship. That team sound whoever's going to be the number one person. Wait, wait, what, 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 what team? We're going to be. No, that's, what, that's, I mean, that's, 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 that's fair. That's fair. You didn't, yeah, you didn't you didn't you didn't say that they were going to win. But I'm just saying, like in general, that's. I'm saying that's the route they're going, and their future is him, Wiseman, Wiggins, Poole. If, 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 if that if, if that if that's my future for a new team. If that I'm gonna say if that's my future, I'm paying Draymond. I'm paying. I'm paying a luxury. Bro, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm choosing yo, Draymond over that future. That's what I'm saying. That's, 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 that's a good young core. That that's a very good young core. It's not a young core. Andrew Wiggins is a part of it. Andrew Wiggins is gonna be like all our games. They miss. Poole was balling. All them games. Clay missed at the beginning of the season. Poole held it down. He was killing. That's yeah, part, that, that part is true. That, that part is true. That that part that is, is that, 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 that part. That part I don't is know true. what's wrong with that. CJ McCollum is a good player. That's what Jordan Poole can do. Uh, also, uh, also, uh, also, 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 Jamal Murray. I like that one. In in two, in two years, Poole will be twenty five. That would not be a young core. That would be. It, you you get what I'm saying? No, I'm not saying like 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 they. They coming out of college, but I'm saying like that's a good core moving forward. I think Jonathan Kaminga is really, 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 really going to be that. one of the most talented players in the NBA in about three to four years. Andrew he's the Wiggins, dude, Ron. The, it, yeah, if, he's the he's the one I don't get rid of. He, 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 he's that's the dude fine. that when anybody ever calls about trades, do not bring up Kaminga because you're getting he, the phone hung up on he, you. Don't back for him. But the thing about it is, I don't accept the trade for Wiseman either because I think Wiseman going to be a top. Five center in the league in about five to six years. You're gonna be a top five oh, center. If they, if they, if, if, they, if I, years, if I go off with my with Turner oh, by Indiana, I'm trading James Wiseman. Yeah, a dude who played 42 games, cut it yeah, out. And, oh, and, yes. and, and not only that, low. Remember, the, the, remember, low. And B missed the first two seasons of his career. So let's let let's let's relax on just. I mean, we didn't know who Embiid was yet. So I knew he was gonna be better than what I see out of Wiseman so far. Did we know? We, 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 didn't, we didn't even know. We didn't even know if Embiid was made of glass. We didn't know that. Oh, no, we didn't I mean, know who he was. Outside of health, though, we knew that his his potential. Well, that's a that's a huge 
that that that's a big deal. I mean, James that, Wiseman has the same question. Mark. I'm about to say he got the same question marks. Right, he does, oh, and man. that that's the and point. he's looked bad when he's been on the court. And hey, he chill. What is Wiseman ceiling in the league? What, what do you think his ceiling is? His best year he could have in the league. What, I think what is he's, his I, I think he could be a. I think he could be a consistent twenty and ten guy. I Thank do you. think that. That's top five centers in the league. I think Thank he could you. be a that's DeAndre Ayton. That's DeAndre Ayton. He's not top. He's better than Ayton. I think he'll 20 be and 10 is DeAndre Ayton, is it not? That's not top what five. I'm saying. I think he'll be better. And we're going into an era of centers where they're going to get better. So if I'm not mistaken, DeAndre Ayton averaged 20 and 10 this well, apparently season. Apparently, we're going no, into no, no, an no, era of no, 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 four centers 16, who can dribble. That's and what shoot. I'm saying. I, I think for Ayton average 20 and 10, I think if he did, he only did that this year. He's, he's, he hasn't done that since. I don't since. think he did that, though. I think it was Ayton was 17 and 10. But I think that's Wiseman, though. I do think that's Wiseman. Ayton's overrated. Oh, I, I, hey, Lo, I don't know I anyone wrong, Lo. Wiseman got a J, shoot the three, post up, and athletic around the basket. Listen, as Curry and Clay start to go out, they start to feature Wiseman more along with Poole. Wiggins is that still that same dude that's just there, old reliable. And I think that them dudes, I think you see them dudes arise, man. I think y'all underrating James Wiseman game. He a big dude with skills, bro, and athleticism around the basket. Bro. We, you've literally only seen him play like 40 some games. In in college, he played three, and he played 39 games in the pros. Like, what are you saying? This, right, hold on. But I you'll see what I'm bad. talking about this year the same way you'll see about the Lakers when I told you they're going to the Western Conference yeah, Finals. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, I, I hope Tickets right. If he's right, I'm going to be very happy to say I was wrong. <laughs> we definitely can't wait to see what Tickets Crystal Ball is looking like going into the future. We'll keep a close eye on this uh, whole Golden State Warriors situation because, yeah. man, this is it's real spicy right now. We don't know what's going to happen with Draymond or Jordan Poole. So we'll definitely be talking about that in the upcoming weeks. But as for the next topic, I need to know, and we were supposed to talk about this last week, I need to know who are the superstars coming up in this next year. Uh, a bit of it is project projection, and a bit of it is, you know, what we know from these players based on their past. But I want I want you guys to let me know who do you believe will be a superstar this next year. Uh Mars, I'm gonna go ahead and start with you. Um I mean I've got two ways of defining superstar. One is a way that everyone seems to hate, which is it takes into account your play on the court, but also your global recognition and how you transcend the game. Transcend maybe not the right word, but how you transcend the game, how you're recognized globally and by that definition, the only superstars in the NBA, to me, are LeBron and Steph. They're the only two guys, in my opinion, who are superstars. You throw Giannis and KD in there, they're, eh, I wouldn't argue, I wouldn't fight. But based on that global recognition, transcending the game of basketball, those are the only two guys who I would consider superstars. Gian Giannis, going, did, Giannis did say that he went to Sweden and nobody knew who he was. But if, And then if you want to go the superstar <laughs> talent, the superstar level of player, I think I've got about eight superstars. LeBron, Steph, Giannis, KD, Jokic, Luka, Kawhi, Embiid. They're my eight guys. Anthony Davis is fringe. And if healthy James Harden is a thing, he would also be fringe as well. Those would be my eight to ten guys. Okay. Fluent, do you disagree with anybody in that list? Or is it anybody that you would want to add on that list? Tell me the, tell me the eight again. LeBron, Steph, Giannis, KD, Jokic, Luka, Kawhi, Embiid. Last time I checked, you had a pretty popular take when it came to superstars as well, Fluent. Did he did he say KD? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, KD's off that list. Um, but other other than that, yeah, I'm I'm kind of with Mars. I, I only my thing is it depends what you call them. So because some people call them elite, some people call them superstars. And I only think the true superstar or elite superstar, there's only like two or three in the NBA at any given season. I don't throw throw the word around superstar. Like every team has a superstar. I think a superstar is someone that has obviously the numbers, the global recognition, and can carry their teams deep into the playoffs, which makes that number very small. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about the general consensus of what a superstar is, I think who are we going to see superstar caliber play from next year? Not look back on their, and I want to be clear on this definition, not look back on their career and say, yes, they had a superstar career. Like, who's going to play at a superstar level this year? Yeah, I think those seven are probably right. I don't agree. think you see it from KD. That's I just that you know to be clear. I don't think you're gonna see that level from him. And when I say that too, also play like how much you play. Like you can't play 50 games and be a superstar. Sorry, you have to play at least like 65, 70 games. Like you need to play the season for me to for me to be on my list. Agree. I, and I, I agree with the list as well, outside of Embiid. Embiid would be the name that I would take off the list, but that's yeah, the MVP I, this year. 
Interesting. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't um, know that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know that. <laughs> but I, I, um, yeah, I would. I, I I think those are the same names as well. I think that um, again, seven or eight names. I agree with everybody else. I'm so happy we haven't we got two more people yet. But I'm I'm happy we not listen off like twelve or fifteen names because I, no. I get conversational no. people. Yeah, I'm I don't like, like no. Jimmy Butler's. A yeah, we no, get a Jimmy Butler to Jason Tatum's. Like, and that's not a knock on them. It's just that. There's a there's a separate level for the top seven and eight players, and I agree with Mars. I think the, the list that he gave are the players. Yep. I, I also agree with Fluent. You got to you got to play. Like you got to play. Pro- there's levels to this shit. Yeah, that problem and th- that part I don't have a problem with. Now I will tell you this, Low, and you and not only you, Low or Mars, you might disagree with this, but I do think that Jason Tatum is entering superstardom. I don't That's think fine. he's there. I don't think he's there yet, but I do That's think cool. that he's entering superstardom. I think that Jimmy Butler has been on the fringe of being a superstar, considering what he has done. Uh, if we, if you take Jimmy Butler's name off and you're talking about a player who has done what he's done, you would say that this guy was either on the doorstep of being a superstar or a superstar. So I think that those two guys are on the doorstep. I don't think that they are, but I do think that Jason Tatum, who you guys know is my favorite player on the 25, I think that he's entering superstardom. But for the most part, when I think about a superstar, I just think about a guy who – Number one, we build our unit around you. And in the process of building our unit around you, everything that we're doing, our success depends on you. And where we're going, you are the biggest reason. And where we are, you are the biggest reason because of that. So when I think about a superstar, there aren't many in the league. No, there aren't. Yeah, people confuse like the best player on the team and every team. Has no, a absolutely not. Cat is not a superstar. No, he is not. Oh, man. Bradley Beal. He's not even the best, not best player no more. Right. Bradley Beal <laughs> is not a superstar. Siakam is not a superstar. I can go on and on Jesus. about these guys. Siakam. So, That's no. Right. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, you're right. Butler, Tatum, and AD. None of them are on that list. You're correct. Yo, Ticket, go ahead and tap in and let us know um, how you feel about that first list of players Mars threw out there, who you would subtract, who you would add. I got Giannis. I got Jimmy Butler as a superstar. I also have honorary staff on James. Uh, not because of the play, but because of all throughout the career, everything. Because to me, you can't be a superstar and miss the playoffs like that. I just, I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's just me. But I give it to him because he's still, he can pack arenas. He's still, he can still put up his numbers. He's still, and I think they're going to be good this year. So I'm giving that to him this year again. I, he, he's an all-time superstar. But like I said, uh, so I got Giannis, Jimmy Buckets. And I think, like I, he said, Jimmy Buckets was French. I think Jimmy Buckets has to be there because – if you look at Miami, nobody expected Miami to do all the things right. they did the last three or four years. So right. you have to respect that. And I think we got to put more respect on them guys that's actually getting it done instead of the guys like KD that's up now, in Brooklyn. Now, ticket, I'm K- not going to interrupt you. Keep going, Ticket, but I will wait, tell wait, you wait, this. Wait, wait, Jimmy wait. Butler, I do think Jimmy Butler is a top ten player in the game. I do believe that. Keep going. I'm I, I sorry. know. I said he's top five. When you're in the final four, th- two of the last three years. Yeah. But well, Bro, to me, you got, and you led your team. You Because ha- hey, listen, bro, let's be honest. In all the big games, Jimmy stepped up and was putting up 40 balls, 37 balls, 38 balls. He carried that squad, bro. Look, we got to just be honest on offense and defensively. And that's the part that we don't praise either. We praise guys. Luca's a superstar to me. So yeah. I got Luca, Linus, Jimmy, LeBron. Like I said, for guys like KD, I love KD. He should get honorary status too. But as I said before with KD, man, and I told y'all the Brooklyn Nets are gonna stink this year, and they're gonna he's gonna ask for a trade again. I'm out on Brooklyn. And, and like I said, I'm man, I mean, I'm out. That's on it. Brooklyn. That's all I. That's all I can really think of right now. To be honest, it's hard. It's hard to keep. It's hard to keep a, keep a, keep a, keep a, keep a Curry, your Curry, Curry's oh, my, bad, my, bad, my bad. And the yeah. chef, I can't yeah. forget the chef. Curry's, Curry's, Curry's. It's hard yeah, to keep. Back back. Back. I forgot the chef, and I got. I'm getting people. It's it's also hard to keep a back to back league MVP out of superstar status. I can't see that. Yeah, no, I gotta it, say, it, no, I gotta put Curry. I, I Curry, just do this for me to kill myself because well, I didn't not, have to not, not only Curry, but when I think about Joker, it's hard to put a, it's hard to keep a back to back league MVP out of the superstar conversation. But he's not no superstar, man. Listen, hold on, watch this. We, me and you talked about this last week. Yeah. Do you think that Jokic can overcome any adversity in the playoffs and get his team to the finals? No. Well, well we haven't no. seen it yet. That's no, the problem. I don't, we listen, haven't seen it yet, we, Ticket. I don't think we can see it. I think we're going to at some point. I don't think. I don't think mm-hmm. so, bro. I so, don't by that, so by that, so by that logic, shouldn't Tatum be a superstar? I don't have Tatum as a superstar. But shouldn't he be, though, by your logic? He no, made the conference no, finals no, 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 several no, no, times. No, no, no. I, no, because them, I respect them more as a collective group. Well, you see what I'm saying? saying? So what's Miami? So what's Miami? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. The difference with Miami is 
Is it when Miami's making these runs going to the finals? That's Jimmy stepping up, putting that work in, getting them 35, 36, 40 balls all through the playoffs. Carrying he them wasn't people. carrying them in 2020. To Bro, get to the, the finals, finals, he wasn't, he wasn't finals, carrying them to the, the finals. How much he, he averaged in the finals? finals. Tyler Hero was doing work on that two, but two, but two, he averaged 28, but you said two to the finals. But you said two to the finals. He averaged 26. You said two to the finals. Now you're saying in the finals. In the playoffs, how much he averaged in the playoffs? Pull it up on basketball reference. 27, I think. I think 28. 20, 20, he averaged 22 a game. 22 a game. No, in the playoffs. Yes, yeah, in 22 a game. 22, 6, and 6. And how much he averaged in the finals? So he averaged, I think 26. he averaged 20. He averaged 26 in the I thought it was 20. I thought, I thought it was 20. No, no, yeah, because he, 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 he had that terrible. 2020, he averaged 26. Yeah, yeah those 40 20 point 20. games trick you because the 13 point game averages out to about 20. No, no, no. It tricked you, boy, because he it got hurt and left me. that one game. I said he didn't out. carry the team. He got that's hurt and left the game early and it hurt his but that's not. But that's not what you said, though. You said, you said, you said, no, I'm talking about carrying. I know, but you said carrying. You said carrying a team to the final. No, I know that. Come on, come on. But come on. Who was the second leading scorer on that team in the playoffs? Bam. Damn, probably. One of them, because I know throughout to get to Who's the finals, the Jimmy league Butler league wasn't league the leading scorer. Bam or Goran Dragic, one of them. I don't know the difference. Um, Goran Goran Dragic I was averaging nineteen in the in the playoffs that year. Okay, so Jimmy averaged twenty what? Twenty two. He was uh, averaging okay. less than Dragic prior okay, to so, the finals. Okay, uh, so but, but look, let's be honest too. J- D- <laughs> Miami's more of a defensive team too. So they ain't really gonna be blowing you, blowing the points off the board either. They're not really. That's a, that, but that's the argument you brought up. We ain't bringing up no, the points. That's, that's, that's the Boston Celtics. Hold on, it's the same thing. I'm saying to me, Jimmy Butler's still a superstar, bro. Bro, nobody had them expectations for the Heat when he went over there. Everybody. No, that's that, that, that's fine, and that's fine, that's fair. But what I'm saying is, by your logic, that means that Tatum would have to be as well. Tatum no, has saying, let no, that no, let no, that this, team this, to the conference final. I'm saying to you, I think. Hold on, I'm saying to you, I think Boston. Had an all around better team around Tatum that helped him get to the finals with Jalen Brown, with Marcus Smart, and with them other dudes they got on the team. I think they had an all around. He said the other dudes. No, I'm J- saying, Jalen no, Brown isn't bad in Bam. No, I'm just saying all the other dudes. I think his second and third best dude were way better than Jimmy Butler. No, I think Bam, Bam and Jalen Brown are relatively in the same ballpark. If anything, I'd rather have Bam. Bam, Bam, disappeared, Bam, disappeared, Bam. Bam disappeared in the playoffs in the big moments too much for me. Sorry. He didn't and, disappear in 2020, though. That's the what point. What am I to say? Yeah, that's the point. The the, when they, the when they got, yeah, the way they got Bam to the finals. Disappear. Yeah, he got Bam hurt, too. He got hurt in the finals. I know, no, in, but in the finals, in, you in said the getting route them there. The he got finals. hurt early in the finals, right? In in the route Game to the one, finals, in the route right. to the finals, Bam did not disappear. He was averaging. Like almost twenty and ten, averaging yeah. five assists in the closeout game against the Boston Celtics, he had like thirty and fourteen. He was clearly like, especially in that series, he was arguably, in my opinion, the best player on, right, on cool. the court. I think Jimmy Butler's a superstar. Period. No, that's fine. I don't, if that's your argument, I disagree. But if by the logic that you're saying though, Tatum would have to be it as well. That's all I'm saying. Well, I feel what you're saying, dog. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go yep. ahead and jump into these super chats uh, once again. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. Obviously, we have an ongoing argument on this show nonstop. So if I'm not able to get to your super chat in a timely manner, don't don't unsubscribe to the channel. Don't unlike the video. Just be patient. We'll get around to it. And if I don't, well, super chat next video and I'll get around to it. All right. uh, My man, James Fitzpatrick, he said Kobe was the heart and soul of the redeemed team. Chill. Put some respect on Kobe's name. Stop. The cap ticket. Keep cooking. I never disrespected Kobe Bryant. Yes, you what did. We, what are we talking about? You 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 talking about he taught he eleven or something like that. That's yeah. No, it ain't. Not the, not, not 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 because of the dudes that I have in front of him. Yeah, yeah, the way you praise LeBron, it is. But we'll leave that for another day. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely we'll definitely do that. All right, the African sci-fi scholar. He said it's all good, brother. Chill. Uh, I'm your Huckleberry. Ooh, we. Here all night. I respect you. You just a clutch sports shareholder. <laughs> Get your money. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Uh, no. You got stocks, no, chill. No. You got stocks. Yeah, that's what I got. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, what's the dividends look like? They get yeah. pretty good. I, mean, I got a pretty good. Re- I got a pretty good return on my investment. There yeah, you go. No doubt. <laughs> pretty good return on it. Super chat from Chris. He said, "So what would the Rockets versus Cavs series would have been, Mars?" I mean, they didn't play, but if I had to guess, I'd say the Rockets win that series in five or six. 
I think I, the, I, I think the Warriors. I think the I think the Cavs smoked them dudes in five games. The way James that's based, playing, that's based on James Harden, right? Yeah, uh, uh, the way James, <laughs> the way James was playing, I think that they served. I think they served the Rockets. I do. Hey, chill. I think you're talking about the wrong James. I don't care what James does. James Harden can average his 36 that he was averaging that year the year before. LeBron James goes ballistic. That's what I'm talking about. That, that's yeah, what I'm talking about. That James. Yeah, I'm not Lebr- talking oh, about he's James. LeBron, James LeBron will, yeah, LeBron will kill. LeBron will kill. I still think the Rockets are just the overall better team. And the Cavs defense is so bad that Houston offense is going to get whatever it wants. Facts. And I think they win. And I think they win. I don't think that's an indictment on LeBron. I don't think that's in the finals. It come, in the finals, it comes down to nuts and guts. And that James Harden don't have that. So we don't, but you don't have to be. I can appreciate man. your logic. I can appreciate your logic about them being an overall better unit. But what I've seen is I've seen too many times those dudes collapse when it matters the most. I've seen that. So in terms of them being a better overall unit and their defense being better, I would never put defense being better in James Harden in the same sentence. Never will I do that. There's no way you can get me to agree to that. No, no way. that wouldn't that wouldn't be a defensive series at all. Like games will end like 130, 120 most of the time because neither team is going to be playing much defense. So I just think mm. the Houston Rockets offense is just far superior. But I'd, I'd bet on that. My man, Landon Tucker, tapped in with a super chat. He said, low is better than ticket. And ticket be bullying Mars. Shout out Ireland. No, he don't. I got no, – no, he don't. No, he does not. Ticket is not, ticket is not bullying nobody. I mean, no, he ain't. No. Nobody's scared of ticket in here. Nobody. No, I, I tell you, y'all ain't got to be scared of me. I don't, I'm not Draymond. I don't pray upon the week. Oh my goodness! <laughs> if that was the case, I'd be beating the hell out of Mars every day. <laughs> what make? Okay, I'm not going to ask what makes me weak. Okay. So no, that's the thing. You're not weak. You're playing you're not weak. And Mars is Jordan Poole. No, <laughs> nah, never mind. Know. Never mind. Mars don't like me. Don't mess around with Hoodie Mars. Don't mess around with Hoodie Mars. No, Mars don't like me. I like Mars. He's cool. All right, y'all. Cameron M tapped in. He said, "Ticket, this happens all the time." You said that the game was lacking this in this week era, but now yes, it bro. happens all the time. Yes, bro. The, that type of stuff behind the scenes happens, bro. When I'm talking behind the scenes and in the game, is two different things, Playboy. <sighs> McDoob tapped in, tapped in. He said, "Man, when low and ticket agree, you know it's basketball gospel." Hashtag <laughs> oh salute, goodness, fellas. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see that coming from a mile away. All right. Well, all right. Three more? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got three more that I'm going to get into yeah. and that will be done. Uh, yeah. My man SSJ Gabe said, as much as I disagree with Ticket most of the time I'm watching, he has a great point. This mm. is the perfect time to reduce his value because he's getting old. Trill Bucket said, I think we're forgetting most people in the organization didn't see the punch on the court. Look at the video. People aren't looking. The first time they saw the punch was through film, so they had to leak it. What? Okay. That doesn't make any sense to me. We're so we, 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 we in a room. We in a room. Actually, yeah, Let me on. make sure I'm understanding this, Low. We, are, we in a room, and me and Low in a room, and Low sees this for the first time, and he goes, all right, we got to put this out. No. <laughs> that makes yes, no. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, no wait. Hold on. Let's no. Go. Hey, hold on. We Let's see. Hold on. We right see. Right hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We're an executive. We're the board, the six of us. us right. we, this video comes in front of us, and we're sitting there having a discussion. How are we going to keep Draymond and not pay him that damn 140 40 million dollars. No, but to, yeah, to say that nobody, oh, this was if this went him? out, we could decrease his value. Yeah, I can but see that. Say, but to say, but say that nobody saw him in the court, like we, I actively saw people looking at Draymond. No, I think you mean no, no, no. He's talking about like the the higher up, higher up. Oh, oh, the execs. So we, so all six of us, we're the suits. And yeah, we're we're in the board, and all six of us go, wait a minute, okay, maybe that's a good idea. If this got out, this might, this might get out, and this. Oh my God! That doesn't yeah. make sense yes, to me. It does. It, 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 it does. It does. It makes complete boredom sense. You were on the brink of saying it too. Like, you were on the brink of saying it. That's a crack. Hey, Flo and Steve Kirby on a on a hot mic saying before. I'm so freaking tired of Draymond's ish, bro. Listen, and that was on a hot mic. He didn't know he was on the mic. He said that, bro. This is how they really feel about this clown. 
But then get rid of him. Then what is he still doing here? We don't have to pay. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think. I don't think that matters. I'm. I'm pretty sure Phil Jackson. I mean, I know for a fact Phil Jackson said I'm so tired of Kobe ish. Like he said the right. same thing about Robin. Like no, they no, say no, that, no, no, and they so actually tried mean, to move up with Kobe. In they fact, not only that, no, 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 but what? But Phil Jackson actually said. Phil Jackson actually said that he went to Jerry West like, yo, we got to get off Kobe. He said that. So yeah, no, I don't. I, I they 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 definitely say it, but what I'm saying is, do I believe that they saw this and like it's a perfect opportunity to take Ooh. his value? Yes, I do. Yes, that's I do. Why, that's yes, why Jerry yes, West is a way do. better executive than Phil Jackson. Yes, I, ge I genuinely believe that they was like, this is it. <sighs> we, got we got him. We got him. I mean, I would, I, here's the thing, though, no ticket. And 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 you dudes. I mean, in order to talk basketball, you have to understand the business of basketball. You have to. If you don't understand the business of basketball, you can't talk basketball. You're a goofy if you if you don't understand the business of basketball. I'm just having a difficult time believing that we're sitting in a room going, you know what? Wait a minute. This might work in our favor. We always. Just, always. We, we, always. This might work in our favor. Okay, yeah. wait a minute. If we leak this, what this is going to do is this is going to drop Draymond's value. We don't have to pay him. Not only do we not have to pay him, we can actually move yeah. off of him. This is a conversation in every organization. Exactly. I don't know why you acting like this. They don't have all that. The time. And, and, look, and, look, and, look, and, and, and all of us are in agreement. You know, you know, you know, you know, and all of us are in agreement. You know how we know it? Because almost every single time a player is on a brink of getting traded or on on the um or a free agent, just miraculously, a whole bunch of stories that people have been knowing for years now just get leaked all of a sudden. Like that's like they, of course, they sit on those things. And leverage why, why you think like, why you think our NFL draft night? That's the day that the video gets leaked where the guy has a gas mask and he's using it as a bong. It's like, to drop his draft value so someone else, like all of those like it's not coincidence. Nuts. There's this no coincidence, bro. None. Oh my God. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a wait, I'm a hold on all this Jimmy Butler ammo until he leaves. Like what you might just hold on to it at that point. But the reason it's, why it's Kobe. If the it, if the Nets draft Kobe, he's going to Europe. Why? All oh, that stuff. Why would they draft? Yeah. yeah. If, if that yeah, if that's the case, why even leak it? If I've already held on to this for years and years and months and months, why do I wait to leak it until he's about to either leave or already yeah. left? Like I don't know who the African sci-fi scholar is, but there is that is a true statement. Yeah, he's from my. He he he's on my channel. He's from my school. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, okay. Come on, hey, come on. You know, you know, you. We already know when Draymond, if he ever moves. We know them slander pieces coming, bro. We know we, we know Chris Haynes bro. is dropping the article that night. Ron, I know about we gotta everything. Go Ron, Ron. But look, his mom just destroyed him today. The mom came out saying it was pool fault that he got knocked out. Mm. Mm. That was not I saw that. I saw that too. He, he should have died so your yeah, I, Ray I saw that. made her erase her account. So yeah. now she doesn't even have an, uh, a Twitter account. Yeah. She erased yeah. the whole account. So Boy. All right, y'all, two uh, more right quick, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. My man Big Ben said that Draymond was going through something. Excuse doesn't work when you have a bullying history. Was Draymond going through something when he was slapped and choked the MSU defensive back Jermaine Edmonton and his girlfriend? How come we I never heard about this? How come, I, how, how, come, how, how come I never heard about this? You know, he got he faced a lawsuit because of it. I was about to say, you ain't never heard of it? Yeah. Never heard of this. Oh, this never, I never heard about this. Stuff. That's why Perk said he need, he need counseling because everybody knows he got real this issues. It's part of the reason why he went to the second round. Yeah, Big Ten player of the year. I was surprised that he dropped to the second round. Hey, I ain't surprised when I heard that. <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't. I was, I, they they got his value. Yeah. I wasn't surprised. Yeah, you, you, never, you don't want Draymond to have a gun in the locker room. Oh my goodness. No, Last no. one from the boss five. He said, Marge, you're capping on Draymond having more short term value. Draymond was terrible and got benched in the finals before he finally had one good point. Game. Completely went over your head, the boss. You yeah. completely missed the point. You completely yeah, missed the there's point. No, there's not enough time for me to. Yeah, yeah you completely missed the point. But completely. thanks for the thanks for the super chat. Thank yeah, you. appreciate it, brother. So appreciate all the comments super chats or not appreciate you guys liking the video if you have liked the video if you have it like the video yo we will be back at the same time next week y'all know who gonna be up here y'all know what's gonna happen we're gonna come and give y'all prime time entertainment tap in the player's choice tomorrow morning at 12 eastern time and we will see y'all then red iron tomorrow night at nine eastern fluent and chill thursday at nine right here on player's choice what Take Take it light.
But take it. Jeez. <laughs> Yo, Fluent, stay on board. Yeah. Oh, Fluent or all of us? No. No, no, we got to be good. Oh. He's still live. I got to figure out how to put Fluid and Chill on here live on Thursday, so he's going to show me how to do it. Oh, okay. oh, he's still live.